I'm the power of light incarnate. You are facing a cluster. May the blood of my enemies Your flow from my spear. Dead. Damn. I will choose my own path. The enemy is picking. I didn't did you get notified? I or no? Hopefully you did. Otherwise, it was often not. Here comes the brightest flare in this galaxy. Yeah, the export. Value in me? The enemy <laughs> is picking. You should. Notifications worked? Okay, that's neat. Uh I didn't even set up the screen for this. I'll do it later. I am he, and always will be. When we no actually get what? to that point for the NACT. <laughs> Your team is picking. three thousand worlds. I'm not a single worthy foe. Welcome to my castle, my friend. Uh, I guess I could do it now. This time, the choice the is enemy mine. Is picking. I will protect you. <laughs> I've been waiting for Your too long. Is picking. Cheeks are good now. No, they're still puffy. You can tell. It's just that. Um. The issue wasn't really the cheeks in the first place. Well, it was at first, but the fact that it's really tiring. My pleasure. I'll watch the matches in a bit. Or after, you know, Empire vs. Lamy Top. You know, who wants to watch that? Hold on, I'm putting this for a second. So I put this. That's the wrong one. Everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Okay. I'll have that ready. Ace reveal. Yeah. I'm just tired, man. Central. Five seconds until the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash them. All troops deployed. Your appraiser is here. He puts his hands in his pocket. Dude is too cool. Do 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 swollen face reveal. Yep. I am versus a Yin. This guy's probably not gonna do much. Berserko on the jungle. It kind of sucks with this emblem, but you're a lot tankier, so I think the trade off's probably worth it. Nothing and no one deceives my eyes. Who died first blood? Jungler did. It's interesting. To battle is to appraise your enemies, just with different instruments.
single-handedly. No, it went for the wrong people. No sweat. What a shame. I've been such a huge bonk. You get what you pay for. I wanted to the flicker stun, but the but the um artist died so much faster than I thought, so I didn't think I needed to aim it because I wanted the flicker stun to ult, right? So I would auto aim the ult, but the Mars got popped. I could have ulted the Valentina, but I didn't think he was gonna get popped like that. Fortunate. Where you at? This is kind of a lane that I'll just stomp in. I'm too tanky. Bonk. Not enough bonk damage, unfortunately. Single-handedly. Shouldn't get tower gold. at first, I don't have enough health. Good damage. Is that worth it in that 200 gold you got? I don't think so. Big bonk. No sweat. Trust my eyes. Well, that's interesting. I don't know why he ulted Karina of all people. I feel like he better luck if he ulted me. He's gonna do even less damage to Karina. Damn, Frederick's skills just don't do damage anymore. They really don't. They're like the second skill, third skill. It's nothing. Tickles. I'm not doing this for nothing. Our turret has been destroyed. Your team destroyed a turret. I got a Lisa.
Dude, I cut an alt. So much CC. Should I want tough boots this game? I couldn't even alt. Maybe. Most strategized Yin player. <laughs> uh, I need magic resist, I guess. Valentino was the one who did the most damage there. Why'd you pick Fredrin? I don't know. Because I don't play him EXP much. I'm more interested in playing EXP here that I don't play much that are like potentially meta. Because you know, in MPL, they do pick EXP Fredrin every now and then. He is not one that I've dabbled in much. So I thought, hey, I'll take a gander. Anyone watching the second match? I'm not. Waiting till. have health negative bonk not a big bonk at all small bonk mini bonk Yeah, he was one. Not all worth can be quantified. Build blade armor. Not versus carry. It's kind of meaningless. Fuck. Ah. Uh, no snipe. What is Martis doing? What is Karina doing? Oh, Karina doing work. That's what she doing. Where's the in? <laughs> I think he just stood recalling the whole time. <laughs> They 
put a price tag on everything in those Picados. And you ult for wave clear. It should have been me. I think just doesn't realize. I died. Did <laughs> you? <laughs> that you is such a savior. Yeah, he basically gave the savage <laughs> by ulting me. Now he only got silver. I tanked the most for sure, right? Yeah, I was a slab. It's all one to know. Was I a good slab? It's like that meme when someone dies and it's like they ask God, was I a good something? I'm asking, was I a good slab? Was I a good slab? Do ML always delay the pro skins for the year? Like, they didn't give the Estes skin to like a third of the way through the year last year. Bros are so nice cheeks, dude. You can tell. Like, you see the, how it's like round right here. I don't really care much about the swollen part. It's just face cam is more mentally taxing. But I'll see how I feel. What happened? I had wisdom teeth removed. So my, my cheeks are really puffy because they had to, they're swollen. Your team is they were worse. It was a lot worse a few years ago. This is better. This is better compared to what it was. I just forgot about the M4 champion skin. Dude, M3, they didn't get the skin till like, eight, like, eight, like October, I, I swear. My own path. Like that skin was not out for the entirety of the year Can last year. Wait, Empire is losing to Lamy Top right now. This might go to a game three. In that case, I'm playing ranked even longer. Empire is losing. The enemy is banning. <laughs> like the stream if you had already push it very much if you do like the stream please like the stream thank you thank you here comes the brightest player in this galaxy Blue man. Blue man. Can you the thug shaker? <laughs> Wipe out all the injustice in the world. Mother universe needs you. Can you do the thug shaker? Wait, it's going to a game three. Let me talk just killed four of Empire. It's gonna to go to a game three. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Going to a game three. I will 
protect you. This time. Or just I can buy book buy booth and sell legit you get your full gold Among refund the game three lay me top just Which one no it's one to one it's not game three or you mean or you're saying now it's going to a game three because lay me top just one you make it sound like game three lay me why what then lay me one game three but no it's it's um yeah it's a weird way to say it it's going to a game three because let me top one which is actually kind of annoying because i'm really tired I will I will literally be going to bed after the BTK or TOB vs Fallout series. I'll literally be going to bed. trolling though by doing this like what the fuck <laughs> what what is bro cooking chat what is bro cooking your, your cheeks not even, not even that, that puffy little, little bro because they're better now. It's not about the cheeks being puffy, it's the mental. It makes me tired. Certainly not cooking. <laughs> I could just go bot. It's actually really annoying in the fact that it's like hard to go on anyone. I wonder if I just bully Fanny's red. Doesn't care, I guess. Oh, never mind. She just cares about the Marksman. That's it. cooking
Okay, he doesn't have blue. Come here. Oh, I could have stayed. Oh, the hook. Rotations go crazy. What a rotation. I hope you clear your mid too. What a rotation. Bro on slow heat. He is simmering. Bro is baking. Is she kicked? I'm just running this game. And <laughs> uh, you can't just let me get the tower. Phone coolers, my phone is just getting outrageously hot. Where are the rest of us? God like God like <laughs> basics two and three. Coming. Where he going? Well, look at my cheeks, bro. It's round. Okay. 
Damn, there's a lot of deaths. What is he do? What is bro cooking there? You guys know what bro is cooking there? I don't know what he's cooking. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna go push bot. Or that 13k gold lead. Mine. All the money. Money, 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 money. Man is on that Zaza. <laughs> They got a flying fanny. Oh no. Come here. <laughs> I tried going around, it didn't matter. My kids are taking the aggro. Oh, what a hook. Man is on that Zaza. Oh, my cheeks. Do, 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 do. Wait, let me tops actually beating Empire. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe top gods? Question mark. I remember BTK was losing a let me top, but then they came back. Uh, I need more water. I'll be right back.
Say my cheeks are puffed up. <laughs> sure. Well, I'm only playing one more anyway. I was the only one who got used to no cam. I think no cam is just very, very peaceful. I like how peaceful it is for me. When I don't have a cam. Top with the cell. Wait, let me top selling. Let me top is selling. Holy. Tutorial music. Yeah, this is a YouTube tutorial song. I'm kind of right about that. This is one of um, NCS's most viewed songs. You can go with no cam for sometimes. I would try no cam in like Asia. If I was like try harding ranked. But that's if it was like squad five men. I listen to NCS religiously. When I was in middle school, I unironically enjoyed NCS music. And back then, dubstep was like, like that kind of electric stuff. Or not electric. Um, dubstep, EDM, EDM. Yeah, dubstep, EDM stuff. It was like a lot more popular, and it was a lot more new as well. It was a lot more newish, a lot more enjoyable. It was a lot more fresh. Now, now it's like saturated and watered out, and no one really enjoys the music as much. The NCS music is still used a lot, but it's just like, it's it's regarded as just YouTube music now than actual like music people would listen to in their free time. People don't like I don't know anyone who listens to NCS and just because they enjoy it. It's all just for non copyrighted music, which is the intention, right? But they also want to make it's, it's it's good enough for that. I remember when it was like something that was worshipped. <laughs> Lamy Tavers Empire. Still going. He going. He doing. Reverse sweep from Lamy Tavers Empire? Question mark. Question mark. Gone wrong. At 3 a.m. It's gonna that that Flamey Towers Empire game is gonna go on for like another ten minutes, I swear. <laughs> Satisfying videos, all back. Show game all in queue.
Can't even see much of it. Just barely. <sighs> I can't even tell what's going on. I think you can. I have no idea though. Which is pretty... Now it's late game and it's actually pretty even. Well, not gold. It's still like 4k devs to change. Lamy Top just is trying to do a mask play. Gollum killed himself. And so is Yuzong. Oh, he fucked up his Petri. Alex is gonna die. Demon with the re-engage has to get out. Wan punch going on Jordan. Because like getting chased down. Can he get out? Nope. Is this where Empire falls? Demon is up. Can you stop him? I'm not sure. They got Empire. Let me tap as a wave. They got a marksman as well. Oh. Oh, they're disconnected though. Okay, wait, Empire is coming back. They doing, he cooking. He cooking. I met Zia in a match where they he lost. Oh, Lord for Empire. No dual shot, I would not. How long do Power Diamonds last chat? How long? I used it all. What are the odds on this anyway? Oh, Empire, you gonna end? And Empire wins the game. Woo. see that now is this here as well let me top with like RQ on international stage damn on the Trudeau I wonder if Skylar actually got kicked well, that's like a really interesting thing he actually got kicked Hope A77 plays today. 
Why do you keep saying as if they won't? Would there be a reason why they won't? Hola chicken, hola. Why no notif stream again? Dude, I don't know if the notif isn't working. May the blood of my enemies Please flow from my spear. BTK lost? No, they have, the they're about to start. <laughs> to live is to trick the Reaper. You are facing a cluster. Joy said that <laughs> Ace and his manager told someone that they won't play because they're out of playoffs. Like, there's no way they're making it to playoffs, so they don't care to play anymore. Is what you're saying. Hmm. That'd be interesting. This is the last weekend of NACT regular season, right, chat? And uh, next week is the. Knockout stage? Right? I will choose my own path. Grants you immortality or death. Damn, I couldn't win our lot. I am the power of light incarnate. See value in me? <laughs> the enemy you is should. Brazilian a hug my friend <laughs> are you are you saying just because you're Brazilian you want a hug <laughs> it's kind of funny watch out Leo mother universe needs you I would rather betray the world than let the world betray me I'm your fan. Hello. Till the enemy oh, reaches the east. battlefield, smash them. All troops deployed. Now it's just straight up east. Is here. That's nice. Smack the shit out of you.
those pecados. When is the match starting? I don't know, they usually have a break in between. We have a bit of a break. That's what I'm waiting for. The series before it already ended. Yeah, there's no way you send me some mixed playoffs. A lot more damage than I would have liked to take. Bye bye. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> what are they doing? They're fiending. They're fiending, chat. They're fiending. They want me. They're molding. Bro, this emblem is so goaded. You're so tanky when you're low. They don't underestimate, they over, they always underestimate how tanky you really are. Definitely not shaking his YouTube after that. Damn, bro. I gotta do him like that. Can you just petrify me? Single-handedly. Who is this? Guest to heaven person. Obviously a Filipino since he's saying it. Attack Filipino. Bro really altered. I can't kill him without my ult. No sweat. This he gets really aggressive for no reason like that. Bonk. Just fucking with me. <laughs> oh, joy, man. Yeah, it says like there's ten minutes wait or something. Oh, there's some sort of oh, two gold cannons for me. This for me? This for me? This for me? Single handedly. Yeah, I don't think China's gonna get an MPL this year. Well, okay, maybe they might get an MPL or some sort of tournament. I don't think they're gonna get an M5 slot this year. Getting serious. Greetings from Los 
Bonk. Come here. Wanna go? You wanna go? Yeah. Oh no, no, I joke, I joke, I joke, I joke, I joke. <laughs> uh, I got a little overconfident there, chat. I saw my HP bar go to max after I three man ulted, and then I was like, I'm invincible. And I'm not invincible. It's a prank, it's a prank, bro, prank, bro, prank. Just, just prank, bro. Never stops moving. Just a prank, bro. But I like how they're making it. So for the knockout state, it's gonna be first versus fourth and second versus third. I think it's kind of stupid because it almost guarantees the first to move on. Shit. Now I'm getting overconfident. Wait, Joy's actually just stomping now. Okay, we got chillax. We're throwing a tad. Joy, she's too fed. Okay, okay, guys. We got a chillax. This joy is a bit too fed. Now she's gone. Now it's now it's a bit too much. I need blade armor. I need a radiant. I need blade armor. I think Athena shield maybe. Actually, Athena's probably. I don't know. How would Athena just fare? Pass would be pretty. Maybe, maybe it'll work when we'll the Athena's. Get decked. Their joy hurts so much. I should have went the magic resist emblem. I knew I should have. I don't even radiant yet. Once I get radiant, that should help so much for joy. I could go to MPL Shine. I'm not really man. Doing this, guys. Frederick, are you sure these rumors aren't allegations? What'd you do, Frederick? What sort of crime did you commit? To battle is to appraise your enemies, just with different instruments. Oh my 
my god. What did Arlo just try to do? That man is not cooking. I, I, won't, I won't let that bros have him. This guy is like damage. A bit of gamble. Give me something, man. Are you serious? He cooking. I have 13 assists. Is he cooking? I think he cooking. Red Poo Chapa. What is Los Picados? <laughs> What ethnicity is Frederick? Is he just a white guy? <laughs> kind of seems like he's just a white guy. Oh, that did so much damage. Get him, he coming, he thooming. He dead. GG. He's a bonk guy. He's Mexican? There's no way Frederick is Mexican. He sounds like the whitest character ever. I'm done. I'm watching ACT. It says the match starts in like a minute. That's like a, in a minute it starts. In a minute. Favorite sneaker? I like Yeezys. I like Yeezys because they're comfortable. They're very breathable and they're comfortable. So I like Yeezys. Brawl? Yeah, sure. Oh, I was done anyway. Wait, did A77FF or no? Whoa, what is this? This is not my like wholesome gameplay. What is this? Private tab popped up on stream. <laughs> <laughs> what you watching? <laughs> oh, sneaky. Dude, that is like the worst frame to use, man. Why are they using that frame of Nikki, man? This is like the worst frame to use. It's like the worst perspective of a picture.
They're doing my guy dirty with that perspective, man. Dude is fighting for his life. It looks like he's about to take a massive dump. <laughs> he's pushing it out. <laughs> they keep trying to poo. Yeah. Doing Nikki dirty with that. God damn. Amigos. It was with these most like white sounding characters. No, I should know mana. Oh, it's zero. Why are they doing? Why they're doing something with zero here? What, oh, I actually want to hear it says. On blank, you actually need to get the tanks. Are able to move around the map much easier, easier without the team around. Is that what you're trying to say? Yep, without it. It's more hard. It's more hard. Zero's mic is too quiet. Oh, I couldn't even execute. Demon shoes. No goes to zero. Yeah, his name, his channel name is like zero, but I don't know. Execute doesn't exist. I tried pressing it, it didn't work. It's not my fault. I'm waiting until I get more epic. Actually, do I? Yeah, I'll wait. Or I go for the BOD. Let's do that. I missed. Shit, 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 shit. Not looking too great. I graded. One missed dash, it's all over. Ohio Kyrie. Yep, yep. Did you flicker? I don't I, I always I always use flicker. Okay, okay. Unless it's like late game, I always use my flicker to make plays, not to save myself. All those side lane lands. Damn this guy knows. He knows about the side lane lands. Seriously? I just didn't like the wave before I got it. Oh, I'm 14 and 4.
Ah, he got me. Whenever I play Brawl, I just get flashbacks of me staying up all night for MPL Endo. And like, although I did get a lot of views and a lot of subs from Watch Party MPL Endo, my god, my mental health was like, and my sleep schedule was so bad during those that like week. No, that was such a bad whiff. I should have second skilled to immune to Beatrix ult. Oh, that's that was pretty ugly. That was pretty ugly. I'm not gonna lie, chat. That was pretty ugly. I feel bad for showing you that one. That was pretty ugly. I'll admit that was pretty ugly. Amazing int. Yeah, I kind of sold there. Oh my God, the respawn timer is so long. Six minutes in. That was pretty ugly. I'll admit. Okay, I need tough boots. No, not like this. I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling. It's the Fredrin CC, bro. The Fredrin CC. It went back to 10 minutes? Yeah, I just realized it went back to 10 minutes. No, not the CC, man. I wanted to go for Beatrix with the Fredrin Chain CC, me. Dude, chill? Yeah, I gotta chill on the TikTok highlight, please. He is War Axe, Fredrin. We still don't have one tower because he's still tower defense. It's insane. Atsura is awakened. Uh, I kind of just wasted my whole HP bar trying to kill him. Wait, is this GG? We got Chillax here. That's not, that's not too good. Uh, I did get a majority of the wave though with that ult. So I stalled for time. Wait, is that a sniper? No, it's a machine gun. Come on, guys. You can defend. Ruby, come on. Ruby. Ruby, go. Ruby, what the fuck? It's already too late, Ruby. Nah. What is our Ruby doing? Oh, GG. <laughs> this is the life of a brawl player. We'll play another, cause match got delayed apparently early game maniac late game fear bro i can't stop my team from selling you expect me to to to, to stop my you know uh, like these uh, these epic players from running it down because <laughs> you didn't push yeah they had so much tower defense yeah. cecil Hanzo is so broken in Brawl that I don't want to play him. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the strongest ninja has arrived. My best friend, she's 23. She left her body and hovered above me. I saw her shadow, I looked around. Searched every building and home that I found. I saw her shadow. Well, mobile legends. The warmth inside me kept me afloat. But like heaven, I found my own. Alrighty. Five seconds till the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash them. All troops deployed. <laughs> First blood. Oh, off of that. It comes way better. Yeah, our comp is kind of OP. <laughs> but who knows, man? Anything losable. Oh, I died. <laughs> you killed my clone. Shit that followed me. Yeah, I'm assassin Dave had power. What does he say? Assassin Shuriken. Assassin Shuriken. Assassin Shuriken. Dave on the Donzo. Assassin Shuriken. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to upgrade my first skill. Like max. It's like the true damage. But second skill, I can poke better. So I don't know. Ow. Come here. I got the Ross and Shuriken. Ross and Shuriken. Ross and Shuriken things. Is M5 this year? Yes, this year is M5. Oh 
my poke damage? What can they do about it? Nothing. I'll send shuriken. Awesome shuriken. Awesome shuriken. Awesome shuriken. Awesome shuriken. Sheesh. I was never going to die. Cross and shuriken. Cross and shuriken. Draft started. Okay, okay. I'll finish this game quick. It's game one soon. I probably just die so I can end the game quick, to be honest. But I gotta make sure we don't lose first. Uh, tough boots. DHS, corrosion. Wind talker. Oh, wait, did we just lose? We got eight seconds of CAG spawns. If we just lost. Three, two, one. Get him, Kag. She killed herself. Now we win. Even hell trembles before me. Time for the, the shuriken of the Rasen. Kill me though. Sacrifice your soul. I said, like, Hurry up. <laughs> he wants to be out. No, you're dead. Finally, can we end? I sure went like ahead. Get me out. Can I carry this game any harder? Alright, 
Alright. Alright, we've got that pink jungle. We have that late game insurance as to cut carry. The speed light wheels become the Uh wow, BTK has D Roth for some reason. That's very interesting. I wonder why they went D-Roth. Zane on the D-Roth jungle question mark? D-Roth jungle? strong options to kind of bring to the table when you look at area 77 uh in this little was it too early oh uh, music shit you right yeah, turn it off on the way uh maybe a little bit of um upscale it's time to change rankings the rankings are basically already set nothing changes anymore hold on moba zane this is this moba zane Fuck. running the assassin the league? <laughs> oh, North America. Since we League. Are League. For a show. This is what we so, want to see. North America's number one jungler swapping <laughs> to a hero you don't typically see him run for the final day of the... Zane on carry? Run. No, it's probably Zane on carry. Yeah, it's probably Zane on carry and they have Iso playing jungle. Because the thing is, Iso used to be a jungle. He used to be a jungle player. Easy peasy. It's it's Iso playing... Let's be honest here. Ling. Um, but we do see... I mean, I'm just looking at a seven. It could be, could be. But I mean, I'm looking at a seventy seven draft right here with BTK, right? But I just the Valentina can pick up some. Say not Ling. <laughs> one thing I'm just not favor for is the one one and the Paquito, obviously. But the penalty zone set potential. Uh, we do see the feather airstrike AOE controlled, and we do see uh, the Lolita, and they're not swapping anything. So Zane's gonna be on Marksman. Iso's gonna be on Jungle. T's gonna be on Rome. This is interesting. Battle's gonna be on EXP and Joy Bosch is gonna be Mage. So oh, this wow. this is a complete like, com Here we go like again. full five man like. <laughs> they did this to us last time. Like what is it? They did. <laughs> they're playing for fun. Last time, pick where no, they're last going. time, last time it was Tob. This time it's gonna be BTK. They're yeah, actually swapping like, around you're everything. Right. Cause Shark ran that Fanny on us last yeah. time, so it's literally like. Bro, he oh, looks man, surprised. To see it, you know, Ooh. and I kind of, kind of harped in on this Zane swapping roles uh, to surprise some teams. What is this? So what is this? What is going one. on? Area 77 up against Five BTK. This is going to be the last the series for Smash Area 77 on the final day of the second half of the round robin. So we're gonna actually see Zane running this marksman, Weezy, and Yado as a mid player. Playing this Dyroth. Yeah, I'm playing I'm EXP for play whatever reason. Change a little bit, right? Because obviously they're on their co like complete opposite roles, and which means their macro micro is is, is going to change a lot. So what are you expecting to see right now? <laughs> hey, trust in Zane. He is the ADC. We are going to have to watch him. And he's going against Mark Cutie. Yo, I, t I said Mark Cutie's underestimated. It's not one of the best marksmen in the oh, NACT oh, Spring oh. Here you go. Mark Cutie <laughs> definitely having that Zane effect that most players have when they go. If Farsa was level two, Zane was dead. And now Zane's fucked can, in lane. We'll it already missed one gold can. Ha <laughs> Zane's fucked. <laughs> lane, definitely keep your eyes on it. Zane's lane's already doomed because he missed gold. Coming in with a lot of aggression. I guess that's what you get for being a roamer, being slotted in the mid lane. You want to show the aggression, but bot side. Goes Mark Cutie. Oh, Mark Cutie. Hitting, and you are going to see ISO pick him down for that first blood. And that's what Zane was banking on. Hey, just wait. He is going to overextend. We get that early kill, and that's going to give us the slight advantage we need to start the snowball. But you are seeing ISO. Interesting. It's poised to get out just in time. And overall, a good start. Does Zane even know how to lane? He still has some things to learn. I'm just looking at this lineup and I'm just kind of we'll laughing because everyone's Let's see how he does on the gold. <laughs> genuinely on their off roles. Like nobody, like all five members are not on their actual roles, which is funny to me. Because obviously Zane's understandable, right? He used to be that marksman player, but Joy Bosch on this mid lane in Yado? Augie, the, the damage lane, pack. I don't, I, this is, this is going to be definitely an interesting match, but objective coming up right now is going to be very open and uh ice is going to be running that killing spree so uh we're gonna see a really good 50 contest but mid side uh t just got dropped really low 
Yeah, really Seems like a free turtle for um. Eight seventy seven. Takes down Joy Boss. Better air strike. Can he get to look at Lava Cutie? Oh, that's not a good start for BTK. Yato, two kills on the board for Area Seven. I think Area Seven Seven wins this game. Unless Link gets super super fat and just kills everyone. Okay, yeah, I think A77 wins this game. I'm not gonna lie, chat, because Carry kind of gets hard countered by Lolita. So I'm not sure I'll be able to pop off this game. Oh, kick from T. The cancel with the way of the dragon from T just in time to save Mobile That is a good save, but Joy Bot. Could he not have kicked Carrie here? Takes out, but he is able to get back with Lava Cutie. He, he could have just kicked her under the tower. Okay, and just chose not to. Weird. Whatever. He could have kicked her under tower. <laughs> Free kill would have been, but then. Objective trying to claim some of this farm nice and early to have that advantage as they are running a little off sync from what we typically see from BTK. Not your typical roles that they play, but still putting on some great competition against Area 77. The double R for win, but backs off. Oh no! Oh, ah, yeah, wow, well, yeah, wow, well, yeah. Okay. Iso picks up the kill, takes down Dash Cutie for the air strike on the bottom side. Pogi finds Iso over in the top lane, but the battle's still on the way on the bottom side as well. T using the G Kundel to get out just in time, almost taken down by KQD. Iso died top. Hacks getting free tower gold. Game looks so dirty. Time bet. And Zane already having a little bit of a fun time in that marksman lane, right? One zero one. God, I that really wish Zane played Ling. It would have been such a good place. title. But with Zane on guys, Ling, <laughs> one one is a hero you need to really scare with. But let's just, let's just look at this. They're really paying the. They're playing oh, the patient game right now for both sides. I guess they're playing for fun. Know, BTK, like, they're very Actually, wait. No, if no BTK loses, they might out, lose their spot in second place. No, it really doesn't matter. Bit of fun, and we love to see uh, Mobile Legends with Mobile Zane running on the marksman. And now, the Meow Blast with the flicker to the side. For oh, stun. Kenzo Zane, Zane and crossbow tank from Mark Cutie. All in for Mobile Zane. KQD okay, is going to take him down. Tips of Blades from ISO to respond. Finds Lava Cutie. Can he get another? Is able to pick up his Blades with Mark Cutie going in. May be able to get a possible pick off, but look at Joy Boss. Rushes him. Is going to use the IMU. Is going to switch and grab Mark Cutie with the 1 1 and take him down. You are going to see Pogi rush in, though. Is going to hit him with the double left punch, but not able to take down Joy Bosch. 7 to 5. Area 77 leading in terms yeah, of. Yeah, second third doesn't matter at all. Two strikes wasn't, wasn't able to connect to that third one as he was not able to secure a kill, but Joy Bosch taking up the 1 1 ult. It's a little bit funny, right? Like before, you aren't able to use a crossbow tank until you actually trigger it as an actual 1 1. So technically, if you take the 1 1 ult, you're actually the 1 1, but you still have to trigger all the points. The you still, you can still bait though. Beats Kazim Lane. Lane. I could. Or I keep Mobile Zane on gold. Beats Kazim Lane might be better though. Oh, Yato died again. He's 0 3. Not looking too good in the deer off. Kind of looking like a joke up there. Is what's gonna be at his favorite. You could still bait it though, BTK. Mark Cutie's gonna get solo kill by Zane. Against Mark Cutie, T takes down Pogi off screen. Zane flickers Shoot. in onto Mark Cutie, finds the kill. Zane's kind of a. He's just fucked. To respond for the airstrike goes down. The emote from Oba Zane. There's some additional HP on the 2v1 situation, but not enough. KQD is gonna take him down. Joy Boss not able to make it in time. But that is an objective picking up by BTK. That is a bot side turret. And no trade yet coming in from A77, but looks like I just gonna go ahead and farm a little bit more and potentially see his hands on the next uh, neutral objective, which is gonna be that second turtle. Yeah, definitely BTK sitting strong so far. Definitely has the map pressure. You are looking at Moba Zane, KDA 2, 2, and 2. But Yato having a harder time at this KDA, 0, 3, 1. But speaking of Yato, it's gonna Yato kind of looking like a but joke here. KQD with the flicker out, Glava QD with the flicker ult on the Zane and T. Zane gets ultimate to Rizzo. Can he get out? Counter ult from Joy Box on the three man. Iso going in. Iso getting any picks. Doesn't really seem like it has to dash out here. Oh, nice dashes. Oh, can he get out? Nope. All the falls from Mark QD. Not looking good here. Claiming a possible turf for the mid lane uncontested. That was a nice set, but no follow up, unfortunately. And that's just a Romer instinct, right? The flicker set coming in with the Numenum Blast was able to land three, but 
looks like the tides have turned a little bit and just went into the hands of A77. They did go ahead and trade that mid side turret, which is going to automatically open up a lot of vision. But oh, tick on the foggy. Zane gets the kill. Light wills combination. Zane picking up the kill, takes him down. You already see Mark Cutie, though, on the opposite side of the map, claim the turret on the top side. A77 is only 2k ahead. <laughs> Too huge. BTK is losing a little bit in those turrets as A77 does have a little bit of advantage as they have not yet traded that mid site. But Turtle has also been picked up by A77, looking at a little bit of a gold lead for the side of A77. And second and third literally matters nothing, two, which I find kind of stupid. You saw all the damage and the amount of basic attacks he was spilling out with the speed of light wheels. He is scaling nice. Now, speaking of scaling. Speaking of the match, you are I feel like that doesn't make sense. Second and third meaning no difference in the group stage right now. or regular stage, whatever you want to call it, regular scene. Should be first, third, and second versus fourth. Yeah, it should be. Honestly, Zane had a slight disadvantage though. They do have Lava Cutie who does have this. That's how they do it in normal MPL. So it's weird why they make it second and third. That damage with the speedy light wheels, which may be able to save the team, but Zane not even worried about it. Left uncontested is gonna go ahead and claim the turret in the top lane. I honestly feel like Zane running this marksman is actually a little bit of an advantage. Since he is his main role is that jungler, right? He is kind of able to estimate, you know, where everyone's Another going, pick. and just like that. T and Moba the, Zane with the, the Chow, Chow Wombo jungle. combos. Being a jungler, you know the rotations, right? So you kind of expect how things are going to turn out. Oh, going on Lava Cutie. It flickers out. Flicker from Yato Ooh. gets his first kill. Oh, Poggy killing T. Our Cutie in a bush camp spot as well. Heavy left strike, and honestly, a great game very explosive from both sides map opening up all over the place but right now, now it's even TK gold still sitting short in terms of kills but in terms of turrets even with area 77 as you are seeing iso kq 1v1 fight iso picks up the kill takes him down and he's gonna possibly be able to claim this turret but oh, you from afar he's gonna wrap around He's gonna try and take down ISO, but stuck on that wall, unable to get to him in time. Fitz boys activated. <laughs> you are gonna see ISO escape with barely any HP. Yeah, I mean, Poggy being able to smack T in the face, man, it's, I guess the punches went over the kicks, right? Turtles like can't match, yeah, Turtles really down. can't, he's slow, too slow rotating. The Lord Agro uh, that needs to be Poggy and Marcuti matching the splits. Reset that, but I don't know if Zane realizes Lava's in that bush, so it has a lot of vision already, but Joy Ba is just also holding on to that little <laughs> blast, kind of sticking by Zane's side right now, and like, even if they aren't really in their main roles, you can kind of tell, like, their instinct, right? The They're dead. Being with the marks to protect, but uh-oh, we just see Conceal play coming in on Zane. From Area 77, Zane dashing now, but Numi on Flash, Feather Air Strike, oh, down, four man, oh, oh, from Mod. Joy Ba takes down KQD. Iso rushing in with the tips of blades on to Mark Cutie. A battle well, on Mark the way. Mark free ult on Iso. Killing Joy Bodge. And Bogey is going to find Yato and Mark Cutie takes down Joy Boss with T. Mark Cutie does situation. have a kick. Farming up. Ready to rev up and take. Zane going on Joshi. Kills Joshi. Mobile Zane not going to let him escape. Hits him with the speed of light wheels and takes him down. You're ready. Yeah, look at Pog is swinging around looking for a little bit more right now. Sitting in, is gonna get smacked in the oh, face. Oh, what a kick Ooh. from T. Dragon Holy up, shit. Zane pick up the kill He's a god. That amazing assist. Mark Cutie now on the retreat. Zane on the chase. Going for blood. Finds wow. him. Mark Cutie has been taken down. Zane, and Zane with the is, double the yaoi, is the Yaoi Benny combo. That, but this time, this time T didn't T get knocked out. Yaoi the Benny combo. Punch. Combo. He, he, he actually. <laughs> kicked him first before he can get the punch. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like that's good, but Zane is sitting at A2, and that is your marksman in play right now, is able to prevail right now with the most amount of damage, and he kills as well as Lord in the blast. Comes down, ISO picks up the Lord just in time. You are seeing BTK, even though they got the objective, they are still going out for blood, going for the kill. The way the dragon oh. T does get stunned. Hey, Cutie dying, oh T, Flicker, take TikTok, KQD Chow, KQD Montage, Highlight, my goodness. Instagram Reel, YouTube Shorts, the, uh, the Facebook Highlights, I, I love everywhere, everything. He just, he literally just melted down KQT like he was a piece of paper. Oh my goodness, Meow. there's respect with the speed of Meow. light wheels. That is insane, but looks like they are going to try and siege this mid turret as Lord is coming on the top. So the Yato is already having a little bit of difficult time with 1-1 one, one down there. He's just doing a little dance of this strike. And the crossbow tank for the response. Mark Cutie may be able to Not take enough damage to no, kill. He is going to be 
able to live to fight Play another Marcuti day. didn't use Inspire on Yato, fighting at the kill. T is going to recall on his fall as well. And Moba Zane is revved up. He has all the farm he needs to be able to... I thought Ace was going to win. Yeah, but they just don't care, it seems. I mean, he it, he does have half the kills of his uh, team's uh, score right now. Uh, kills right now 18 and he's sitting at 923 right so he is kind of carrying the team right now he needs a jungler you just got mobile zane smack him on any road he's gonna go ahead and kind of carry out the team but we do see the proxy oh two with the kick on the lolito oh flicker off from joshi four man holy wait they're all one hp what a play from joshi you're gonna see josh cutie with the front line presence iso is by you so what a play from joshi strike and you are gonna see josh cutie take down iso right now 18 to 17 but looking at the turrets bt claim uh, btk has claimed six <laughs> area 77 has only claimed three and right now still a very hard fight to turn around looking at the what items the here same with quite the, the gold lead energy there right but Look at Zane's position right now. Do you see a lot of damage? Oh, Zane, Zane alone, oh, not a good spot. Oh, himself in the wrong bush. He used to win an Azure, oh. trying to take He's down Marcuti, but Pogi is going to find Oh, and T Mose trying to do something. Numeon Blast for the right wing to Dragon. Oh, Ito out. From T onto Lava Cutie, but... Oh, Joy Bot 1 HP gets popped by Poggy. Iso's here. Can he get his buff? Doesn't really seem like it. Actually, Poggy did red tree, so. On the denial. The question is, who will it go to? Look at the top side, though. Marcuti still eyes on the prize. Prince Blaze going down from Iso. Crossbow Tank activated by Marcuti is going to find T. Maybe able to get another. Oh, no. Nah. is going to have to dash out over there with this Dyros. But still, Area 77 putting on a show. This is their last series that we'll be able to see them perform in. For the second half of the round robin before we move on to the playoffs. Unfortunately, Zane got a little bit too overconfident. Maybe it's that Frederick instinct, uh, you know, kind of spilling out that pixie dust. The Frederick instinct. Caught out in that wrong bush. And I saw not being able to get his blue is going to be a little bit of an issue, right? The thing is with these junglers that requires uh, that blue buff for that mobility, uh, it might be a little bit of an issue. He might not be able to hit his um, Tempest Blades and not have enough energy to sustain, but we do see Iso with that split push with mid side. Beyond blast, not gonna find any members of BTK. The emo. Yeah, the they must have. They must have saw it. Not what you want, but you are gonna see Area 77. Ooh, aggro score. T is They're looking for the split push. Team, but look at the is it the back door? door? Look at the top side. BTK may be able to close this game out as they're focusing on this Lord Yato Iso. Holy and a shit! Minion, Can they get the base? Can they get the base? Holy shit! The Benny Kitty back door. Claims the first game. Against Area 77. Overextending his stay at that lord, but it was to make sure nobody. What a backdoor. That was a really nice backdoor. Oh, I'm sorry, not Yato. T. Now, see, I can't even I can't even figure out who's on who what role. What am I watching, bro? I don't know what I'm watching either, man. Backwards. I feel like every time we've casted, there's always a backdoor happening, right? We see the lava backdoor, we see the fanny backdoor, we see the brody backdoor in Fallout, and now we're gonna see Ling and uh, Dyroth backdoor. So, I guess we just got the curse of backdoors of all the matches, easy. I don't know. I will say these are the matches oh my god cast, and honestly <laughs> I just love to see it BTK 1-0 up against Area 77 so far as we are jumping into the stats. I mean, the gold is literally not even a hundred difference right there. And we are seeing that the macro has been in the hands of BTK. Joy Vaj coming in with 2-4 and he is the roamer. Yado coming in on the EXP lane 1-4 as he is you just with the back doors. Uh -huh. Zane coming in 10-3 <laughs> on this carry. He is the jungler, but he has been known for his marksman. T coming in 2-4. That is the... Uh, EXP laner and going down the line Iso coming in on this jungler as a marksman but look at this bro I got I Lance again and bro <laughs> was just trying to go give it Redemption a vision, game. but it was just to prevent them from recalling and look at Yato yeah and T Iso actually heard of them all for recalling and then they just tower locked burned, uh, everything he could but no inspire and Poggy just came in too late and wasn't able to defend the base crystal and we're gonna go straight into the second draft and let's not oh, see another backdoor because every single time we're playing brawl any series we've casted there was always 
Always. You think Carlos uses the back doors on unit? I'm just ignoring that comment. Alright, let's just play Brawl. Until we go back to the game. Go AFK? Seriously? Alright, fine. more are we gonna look at fine what let's watch think? let's watch it's every you guys don't want to watch brawl it's fine i'll There's play a back it. door every single time we cast it. it's not so. the easiest thing to pull off either honestly it takes no. some high execution and a very yeah. limited time frame and honestly i saw it though. i was like yo the back door hurry up what are y'all doing too much focus on that neutral objective Definitely. El Dono reaction some of my best work El Dono reaction is some of my best work I honestly just want to harp on what we see what it would be funny it if it that wasn't eunice that they can do a new dynamic but that they the fact that people that just call her a female fight chicken it just seems a little weird it kind of opens them up to that <laughs> style of drafting if they can pull yeah. this off against upper echelon teams because when you put zane in that gold lane even though he's a master of the tank the tank uh fighters when you put him <laughs> in the gold lane you can create the opportunity for ice play brawl i'm playing brawl i'm just not he can do it too. showing you the assassins and that may be a possible game plan that we might be able to see a little bit of that early sneak peek into the grand finals if they do make it out there and and it just gets your blood rushing and honestly just shows you just exactly what BTK is. Show us. I mean, like I said earlier, right? Mobazine is the jungler. We are known for his king of farm, right? Is able to take everything. But when he runs into that marksman, he just knows the rotations by heart, right? Even though they not F the draft. Not be exact as what he plans out. Brawl or that. He knows when the gangs are going to do this. He knows when the, the rotations are going to lock in. He knows when they're going to do this. He knows when they're going to do that. That's just the instinct of a jungler. And, you know, making sure that you know those rotations. You just add that little bit of Something's going to happen here. Because I know what someone's going to say. But, Lava Cutie locked in this two for Joy Boss. So this pick is going to be, uh, Shit. Uh, did see it? Really Everybody was hating it for some reason because he just wasn't playing. I don't know, I think Roger's got a draft. Moscow. This piece fits my dragon. Gonna play. So if I'm gonna take a wild guess, Moscow. Take a wild guess. Oh, Are they try hard now? Is. He's gonna Joy Bot is gonna stick to his tank, I think. Ice was gonna run the mage. Yado is gonna run the marksman. Zane, I'm sure, is gonna run the EXP. And then T is gonna run jungle. Never know. <laughs> Honestly, I think you so. You never know. But I mean, uh, I will say something interesting with this draft so far, though, is KQD. Zane so gonna Brody. <laughs> um, and that's gonna be something interesting to see. You know, Sicilian takes a long time to rev up. Mm -hmm. and Requires you to be able to make it to that late game, but BTK is not a team that waits for the late game. That is not a compliment, John. At 12, 13 finish. Uh, so when you bank in on the Sicilian, you have to be able to maintain yourself, maintain your objectives, and survive up to that 16 minute mark so you can get those stacks to be able to kind of deal the damage needed onto the team. But you look at BTK, right? They have ISO. Uh, they, which locked in the Farza, they may swap around. Too early to tell who's going to run what. But you have the Brody, you have the Farza, both really strong early game presence uh, to be able to pull this game out, which may be a slight disadvantage for this. Eunice, Eunice is an example, example of how you do good as a girl. It's getting better. I, I still don't think they're going to mix up their... I mean, they got nothing to lose, all right? But I... <laughs> Wait, like, I really, really want to say it. I want to say Moba Zane on the Fanny. What, what do you got to lose? Let's go. Pull out the fan. Fanny's out the banned. Oh, Pay Fanny is banned. My caster. Oh, you're right. Pay attention, <laughs> it's my caster. Because they saw the ling. They saw the ling and it scared them. Because normally nobody is banning the fanny. Dude, the the, the coat that Eunice is wearing is like way too big. Greedy style of drafting. When you pull that out and you show people, hey, we have that capability and we were also look at it. Running look on at it. it. <laughs> Here <laughs> comes the bedang. Here we go. Oh, they got so Tiamat bedang. We are looking at that off roll again this is this is more of those entertainment type rosters right so enjoy it while you have it right i don't think you'll catch this uh in semi-finals but what was he's gonna run this run this badong i have not seen i was private when he cast it and said bidet so we're gonna go ahead and see that but uh speaking of that late game though that cecilian is there it's it's present but 
The longest game I think I've seen BTK take on was Ackerman, I believe, in one of those games. Uh, it wasn't even TOB. It was. I'm Fred's sure still was open, yeah. They had that longest game. It is still open. Minutes. So I don't think they're looking for a late game because if they are, they're gonna be in serious trouble because uh, there is a Sicilian. But have we seen a Freya? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alrighty. Just, they're just putting everything just... out on the line right now. Just trying to put on a show, man. Fire jungle? exploding everywhere. And, uh, I deserve yeah, mod. Maybe if you want to put a ship poster, I give you mod. Jungle, and so I think the last question is, what is BTK gonna pull out for their jungle? No, what is he gonna pick? I don't know if he runs assassin. I don't know if he runs tank. I don't know what he's gonna pull, but. We're gonna have to wait 15 seconds and it's a little too long because i want to see what he wants to pick right because now these three the main three centers are on their off rolls right now so joy bosh he's gonna run that roam that's what he's known for <laughs> oh he's a jungler it's <laughs> gonna go ahead and lock in this we're saber, see the saber. <laughs> uh, well, this is I gonna don't... be funny like the triple sweep have able we... to get sicilian as well for k cutie that may have be a little bit saber? of a battle uh, Saber? No, I don't. Not that I'm. This aware is the of. first time, right? Yeah, this is the first, oh, oh, Saber. first time. Oh, Saber! <laughs> first time seeing Moba Zane running in the gold lane for the NAC. I don't think we've ever seen Badong either, right? Yeah, no. It's all. This is all brand so new. This, this, yeah, this is or Freya. New. Right. So I, I I joke about this a lot. I'm through Saber vibes, with, yeah. With my friends. I feel like Freya is. But why is it, is it Zane playing Moba? Is it Zane playing Badang? Like just smashes people. Her ult range is bigger than you think it is, but we are going to go into the second game. BTK versus A77. Well, one side has nothing to lose, the other one is just showing their pride and making sure to take on the game. Yep. But and what was Zane on the bedang? Um roster mix up again, except Zane's gonna be on the EXP lane. Uh T is going to be the jungler when he is known for that uh side lane. Yado is going to be in that marksman position, and Iso is going to be in that mage position, which is what Yado is going for. The only person that is on their actual row is going to be Joybosh. Yeah, she's <laughs> showing you BTK, a team of all-stars, and they're not afraid to switch it up. And honestly, when you're looking at Zane, he ran the gold lane, he performed well on it. Ooh. Wait a minute, Iron uh, Bench from afar. <laughs> it's going to connect onto Iso nice and early, and... What the hell? You know, if you look at Camera? Alright, alright, alright. Beginning of the round robin, but had a little bit of a struggle during the mid phase, and now on the back end, starting to finally pick up their pace, but uh, it's too late. And Jashi has Petrify on Freya. I don't like that. Petrify, how's that supposed to work? Going up against Moba Zane, who is now swapped to the EXP lane for BTK for this match. Absolutely, we do see. Oh, nah. Oh! Your tyrant's rage landing on Yado. And a possible pick. Oh, oh no, Yado's able to get out just in time. Mark Huey unable to seal the deal. Unable to secure that into a clutch kill. region. Good boss just came a little bit too late. So it looks like oh, but T, T is not having dicked. fun time. The orbital blade gets out now. barely. That last line of defense. He is able to get out just in time, though, before he was taken down from Area 77. Still, neither side able to claim a kill. Wait, that's Purify Moscow too, holy. Ooh, huh. Chilling right now against this Freya. And we haven't seen anything too major yet, but T. Moga Zane on the Badang. Putting up that little barrier provided by uh, Moga Zane for this Badang as we are seeing this turtle spawn in. Do you see the rotations already happening from both sides? Each roamer trying to get their four. And we do see another. Oh, the auto. Not in a good spot here. On the bottom side, but this time they are able Dies. to Mark Cutie securing first blood. For Giving Arizona. gold to Moscow is not too great. Still not looking at that four yet, where the dragon is still not there. Lava Cutie already has his four, so this turtle fight might be a little bit of a suspicious fight, but Zane. He's gonna rush in, he's gonna use a fist break, he's gonna trap. Oh, well, Lava Cutie, 1 HP, but Iso whips! Oh, Joshy Cutie going on Iso. Big shield. T not in a good spot either. K Cutie, oh. T died, Joy Ball, drinking for the cleanup play. Oh my goodness, 
Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, Joy Bosch, just take talk, gets a double kill. It even spicier, picks up the double kill. Takes down Lava Beauty, pulling the aggro of this turtle. Momo's in here as well, gets a pick off. Oh, but gets off, gets caught by Foggy. Now Zen's dead as well. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Left and right. What is going on, man? Like the stream. Nobody still has touched neutral. Like the stream, the the please. Going up to the top Off of, of that the fucking monkey festival play. Purify from Marcuti for whatever reason. Got a little bit of a stun onto Marcuti. Joy Bosch in the bush. Marcuti not aware that he's there. Already opted in onto the G Kundo. Oh, nah. Joy Bosch. Picking Marcuti. Marcuti. He falls. There's four topside for A77. Zay now in a good spot here. Has to ult back. Looking like a very sloppy dive from A77. It's a one for one. Ah. Oh, no bots with another dos dos. No kill though, it seems. He's going for it. Joy Bodge wants it. And he gets it. Man, we did see each one. I mean, how many cherries do we have to set up? I mean, they're just going to keep coming back and forth. Spirit of Destruction hitting Iso just a little bit there. But look at the bot side again. Yato, Marcuti. Oh, by Marcuti. Triple sweep from T. Yato taken down by Marcuti. And right now, looking at the side of BTK. Bog popping off. Rotating around. They are denying Marcuti from getting online. And Yato leading the way. 2-1-0 against Marcuti. I feel like this is just going to be a ping pong match, right? It's just kills after one another. Uh, <laughs> no one still touched the turtle. No one wants to get it. Yeah, not <laughs> that's so stupid, man. No one's even going for the objective. They're just playing for fun. There's not really much of this team there to be able to make the most situation. But speaking about making the most out of the situation, separation. Oh. But the fist crack from Mobile Zane finds Dashy Cutie and Joy Bosch with the recall on the way out. Lava Cutie 1 HP. Yato gets the kill. Memories does connect. Killing spree activated down with Lava Cutie while you are seeing the side of BTK pull the aggro of his turn. Gonna go ahead and start that as well. But the bot side and the top side, it's just, I feel like it's brawl in the bot side, top side, but Mark Cutie. And you are seeing that Marcuti trying to get online, trying to take down Yato. Both of them very oh. low. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. You are oh. not see that spirit destruction oh. connect on Yato. Oh. But Marcuti oh. is oh, going to still take step. him down. But Iso, oh, no, he can't. The response is going to find Marcuti with that one HP. Oh, what was in? Not a good spot here. Ult gets out just fine. Oh, oh T ulting on the Poggy. Fucking him up. For a double kill. T is going to go ahead and take down Josh Cutie and Poggy. Beautiful recall coming in. From T, right? The oh my god, the, 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 that's a legend skin. So that, that far to say, who? Yeah, you're right. Over there on that top, as we go ahead and restart the rotation on his own side. But we are looking at the gold lead coming in still from BTK. We did see a lot of brawl happening in the bot side, the top side, a lot of skirmishes here and there. Six to 12 already. This is a high kill. Lava game. Cutie whipping his jump, Joy Bodge and ESO here. Trying to beat the fuck out of three ults for one tank for one slaver. Joy Bodge with the DOS DOS spam. Map has opened up a lot. BTK having a huge advantage. Now able to extend into the Freya. jungle of Area 77. But Freya backwards descent does drop down. Now the spirit combo hit. Oh, oh Jashi Cutie dead. Finishes him off. Oh, was in. Has a turtle buff for whatever reason. Pull out of the jungle from Area 77. No. You know, I've I've I play Mobile Legends myself. Play play a lot of rank matches. Oh, Marcuti, that would have been really smart if that connected. Oh, and all looking good for Marcuti here. Gets out. Oh, T. T 
1v1 Poggy in his own ult. Oh, what the fuck, Joy Bodge? Completely unnecessary flicker, but it doesn't matter. Zane flickers on to KQ. He kills him. Lava Cutie, 1 HP. Can he get out? No, T comes in with the triple sweep and gets him. Mark Cutie with the 1v1 on Yato. But look at the Lord Jassy Cutie on the top side, though. It's going to focus on the wave management. We are going to see BTK clear the minions in the lane. I feel like every time Yato does a secure kill on Mark QT, I still just... Poggy's looking for something. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the hell he was looking <laughs> for, though. <laughs> Man, he must be looking something or yeah. <laughs> Poggy looking for something while he's being while he's blind too apparently. I don't know, blind and deaf. One sided story, three turrets taken down from Area 77, and they were only able to respond by taking one turret themselves. Weezy, I'm gonna have to ask you who has a better punch, Joy Bodge or Zane? Well right now, I mean if we're talking about KDA, I'm gonna get the Joy Bodge. I mean he has way more assists, so he's definitely a very crucial. Oh our QD with the play. Oh no. Can he get out? One HP. Iso. Still lives. Oh, but KQD takes down T. Big bounty going to Cecil. Is that a comeback potential with the shutdown? Are you sure that Joy Bodge has the better Oh, 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 in the tower range. Oh, Yato having a dash in the tower as well. Flicker is out. Wow, a cutie on Yato. Can he kill? Both members still fighting Lava out. Cutie. Does he have the damage? Can he get him? He finishes it off. And then Zayn also kills K Cutie full HP. Oh, but Mark Cutie with the spear of destruction snipe across the map to snipe Zayn. 10 to 23. What is going on? This is just horror back and forth. All BTK want. Is living up to the game. Bloodthirsty kings right now. 23 kills up on the board right now. Still Dude, there's, there's, there's 30 match. kills at 10 it's minutes. Up, Actual though. rank um, game. Three kills a minute. There's more than 30 kills at 10 minutes, man. Look at that recall charge up. Mark Cutie as well. They must know something we don't. There may be a little bit of a buff to it, a little bit of a trick that we're not aware of. Oh, he's still getting caught out here. Joy Bodge as well. Oh, Mark Cutie with the solo kill on the Otto. The T picks him off. Not looking good for BTK here. A77, don't even care about the Lord. I take that back. They're going on it now. Oh, Lava Cutie found where Zane is. Is he gonna ult for him? I don't know. Oh, but T gets Jashy. Lava Cutie flickers out. K Cutie gets T. Zane one HP. Oh, he gets he gets Poggy. It dies in the process. Lava Cutie one HP. Can he get out? Nope, he cannot. Joy Bodge. Going on Mark Cutie, flicker ult! But Mark Cutie is purify. Try to make- Oh, for the stun. Mark Cutie versus oh it doesn't matter. Wait, what an actual stun. Holy shit. Wait, actually, what a godly stun. But he is winning nature. Bodge time. He's like, wow. They are living up to their names and- Look at all the members just going ahead and making sure they know wow. who the bloodthirsty kings are as they are some the 28th. Oh, players. Iso with an ult. Is it going to matter though? Iso 1 HP trying to fly away. Fly away to his doom it seems like. Gets picked off. That's in fact having other plans. Is going to find him and take him out. You are seeing Area 77 still trying to find a way to turn this around. 16 to 28. The highest kill game we've seen so far today. Can they type? You're not supposed to. Lava Cutie ulted air. Oh, Jashi Cutie on the auto. He flickers out. Jashi back out here. Joy Bodge with the mask. Oh, Lava Cutie jumps on him. Doing the process. T picks off Poggy. 
T in the mid lane is gets try out. His minions. Oh right my now, god. He's finding a way to maintain this pressure against Area 77, but now do they go for this objective? Neither side. UK Goldie for BTK. So and now finally the aggro has been pulled for BTK and they may be able to take this uncontested but on the bottom side, a little bit of a clash going on. You are going to go ahead and see uh, Saber get out just in time. Marquiti was almost able to take him down though, but still, nonetheless, BTK able to claim the score uncontested. Oh, Marquiti with the oh, he's a goner. Try purifying it, didn't matter. Objective mission accomplished. Able to find the backline marksman, a huge advantage for BTK alongside the Lord. They just claimed. And Zane just being dominant. Six, four, seven, but T also coming. This is a four-man camp here. Lava cutie in the bush. Oh, what the flicker all uh, Joy Bot doesn't follow up. I mean, this dude's pulling out flicker G Kundos like it's nobody's. Oh, Lava Cutie with the whiff on his ult. He probably tried to flicker too, but he whiffed. Just in time. What a shame. What a shame. But you are seeing Mark Cutie spawn back in. Did just pick up that demon hunter sword for some additional damage. You see ISO giving a lot of pressure, and that's the thing about Farsa, you can give a lot of pressure Blue with just your presence, the destroyed. feather airstrike, it's going to definitely zone out that back lane, but here it comes, the minion push. Right now, BTK trying to claim yet another game, trying to have a sweep against Area 77, this is their final game possibly for the double round Robin, and what a way to be able to Whoa. see it finish, BTK running an unorthodox Whoa. composition, KQD is going to take okay, down ISO, ISO getting bursted draws, by KQD. and they are able to take this look, which means they'll to fight another fight, but BTK is still trying to close this game out as fast as possible. They're looking for everything, and I mean everything. They're taking. What are the tanks? I don't know, man. Six K goalie for BTK. Joy Bodge is not a flicker for a TikTok when he is being aggressive. Woo! Oh, kicking. Lala Cutie 1 HP dies. Oh, that actually dies as well. Zay with the flicker ult. K Cutie 1 HP gets out. Oh no, Ayato flicker auto might be GG for A77. Can they defend? Two people only. 20 seconds till anyone is alive. Maintaining this pressure, waiting to have that triple sweep. May be able to rush in and take down Marcuti, but look at Marcuti looking for a potential flank play. And look at Mark Cutie trying to get a potential back. Oh, nah. Oh, Mark Cutie, he's trying to do something that's not going to work. Oh, Mark Cutie actually got one, surprisingly. Josh, he's up as well. Wait, can they defend? Let's see. Oh, alt. Okay, Cutie is up as well. They're going to not end the game for whatever reason. still pushing in on the bottom side, but... Are gonna slowly see Area 77 spawn back in. Does BTK overstay their welcome? Well, we do know that they're kind of playing a safe game as KQT coming back with the Bats Feast is able to clear out the minions just in time, and they're gonna go ahead and get this Lord. And I, I mean, Mark has really, got the funny please, score, six nine. Again, got the funny number score. Who has the better punch, Zane or Joy Bosch? Uh, well, still looking at KDA, right? I'm, ah, I'm still gonna go with Joy Bosch just because his punch comes with the flicker alongside it. Uh, Mobile oh. Zane, I guess he can flicker in as well. Oh, Joy Bosch getting Showtime picked off here. Not looking Bills, good. <laughs> can he flicker <laughs> out and live? <laughs> nope, gets bursted. They're doing the Lord. Oh, ult from Poggy. Is it gonna matter? Pulls Yato in. Yato win the nature. It's not gonna matter. Trying to ult dies in the process. They're gonna focus the Lord here. 30k, it's going down. 20 k 18k can t prove that he's the better red tree he goes in he gets the red tree zane dies in the process but t might be the <laughs> he's so going in dying in the process our cutie pushing mid oh t's dead as well four dead on btk our cutie's pushing mid is that second chance can they close it out <laughs> okay, I think Yato's gonna be up. Nah, Yato's gonna be up to defend. I don't think it's over. Oh, 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 my QD, but it's purifying. He gets it back. Yato! Wait, Yato! Yato is dead as well. It doesn't have any damage to stop. But my QD is 1 HP. They can't push it in. Oh, <laughs> 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 Look at the minions! The minions! So 
strong, very hard to contest, but Jassy Cutie forced to use the back to sit in the spirit combo to be able to clear them Surprising. out, and that is what BTK needed. This is what we call a saving grace, and BTK oh able to hold on God, and maintain the really their going pressure to be able to still minutes. possibly claim this game. There's like I'm gonna have to give my, uh, 65 kills in this now. game. Yes, Joy Baj is able to land the flicker kick. That's still I almost three kills. A that's more than three kills. That's like four kills a minute. Every single time, and that's what you want. Oh my god, that spear hit Farsa at a random chance. It hit Farsa. Oh, Iso just what a spear from Marcuti. What an actual, what a godly spear. The fact that, that hit Farsa is actually insane. And right now. Marcuti's been crazy with his spears. Oh, the Poggy getting picked off by T. sweep is gonna go ahead and find Poggy. Yeah, Poggy's gonna go ahead and be taking out the dust. Three, nine right now. Insane. Oh, the bait back off as well. Oh, mass play. Marcuti does not have purify. Not looking good for him, but he gets out. Zay with the flicker. Alt. Can he kill him? No. Oh, what's going on? One HP. Marcuti, can he get out? It doesn't seem like Marcuti's dead as well. I. I hope this is a 2 0 because I don't want to watch a game 3. I mean, I sort of got Ares in the just have that advantage, but now it's back around. Late game Freya, it kind of hurts. Oh, Yato getting pulled, then he got dicked. A77 has 5 alive. Zayn, with an interesting play, gets out just fine, though. Oh, Iso. I don't know what you're doing. Purify, though. Comes out from Iso, gets out. Marcuti though wasting no time is gonna focus on trying to claim this objective, but Moba Zane wrapping around does not have the retribution, but let the world know he knows how important it is to secure these objectives. He is gonna try and provide the oh. denial. Gonna pop Zane, the gonna look for engage. Jashi Cutie, Cutie though, gets it. Is gonna find the Lord for Area 77. Zane but dies in the process. Oh, but Sarah picks T picks off Marcuti. <laughs> Area 77 oh. to claim this neutral objective. Weezy, can you breathe? Oh, I don't even breathe anymore, man. <laughs> can you breathe? We're looking at a 30 to 42 uh, kill score right now, and T. Why did Poggy oh, just ult? I guess he's trying to look uh, for some. Look for uh, T. Oh, Joy Bodge. Flicker kick, it's not gonna matter, the 1 HP. Oh, never mind, it gets, T gets the kill. Joybot, 1 HP, can he get out? No. Wait, never mind, oh, he dies in the process. Oh, a King Cutie gets jumped by... T uh, wow. 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 What's going on? What's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Yato, can you get all oh, the cutie? He just needs to torn apart memories. Proxy Immortality, Corrosive Strike for the stun on the way. Dives into the turret, not able to get the kill. And you are going to see Lava Cutie make it. Three up for BTK, but only two up for A77. Can they defend? Mark Cutie does have the Purify. Oh my god, that Feather Airstrike damage. Damn near one shot him. Right now, still anybody's game. Area 77 up against BTK. Absolutely, and now the waves are pushing in. We are looking like at the stream members. chat, like the stream, please. If you haven't already, subscribe as well. All that good stuff. Back, Can they end this game? Mark Cutie's trying, he's doing. BTK, they're not gonna risk it. It seems a 3v3 and A77 is spawning. It's the game is still going, it's 21 minutes. How long is this gonna go, man? game now a late late game if you must and they do have KQ who's running Sicilian now 14 5 and 8 KDA which may be the down for ult and a minion they're not careful absolutely and we do see the setup already they did see Joy Baj in that mid side so Joy Baj can go ahead 30 minute game it's only 20 minutes so far he's not the jungler but he's taking the farm so that's just the instincts coming out from the junglers there but feather airstrike yeah, is taking red buffs that's cool early uh it's
it's okay. Uh, he hit the gnat. That's what happened. It's okay. He did hit something, but we do see. Oh, T. Foreman, bro, oh, 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 the bounty. That's so bad for BTK. Which means still 30 second timer. They still have enough time. Possibly to be able to contest. Are they going to commit to Lava Cutie here? It doesn't seem like the right play. Lava Cutie whips his ult though. Gets out. Mark Cutie picks off Iso. Two are dead for BTK. They're going to get that Lord. BTK might just lose right here. Who knows? Mark Cutie clearing mid. Oh, the spirit of destruction hits Zane. Oh, Zane with the two man ult. Is it going to matter? Tries to get out. Gets out just fine. That's the way flicker in the process. To get out, and that just shows you his flexibility and hero pool outside. They're giving the us Lord. Absolutely, but he uses his objective going into the hands of A77. But this is now turned into a 23 minute game. Joy Bodge kicking uh, kick, Lava Cutie. Lava Cutie gets picked off. They gotta get out though. They don't get out here. It's not gonna look good for them. Oh, with this two man stop. Oh, and Zay with the dash. Oh, holy shit. No, he's oh, gonna take the more cutie. What did they get? It's a five man wipe for BTK. Zane with the four man Bedang ult. He wiped them out. Turns the North America's number one EXP lane. Zane with the four man Bedang ult. He wiped them out. And BTK gets the wipe out against Area 77. And they are gonna be able to close out this game with a sweep. Talk what a what a what a top what of the line, top of the class, and they are 85 kills, 23 minutes game. Everyone, go in the tower. Let, let, let the let the minions end the game. I'll go in go in the base. Go in the spawn. Ah, whatever. What the fuck is this game, game man? Against Area 77. Oh my. This was a high kill score game. 30 to 50, I think. 32 to 50. Uh, something like that on the board, but mixer rolls, but BTK was still able to take oh out that one. My. So I have to give my big props over to BTK. We Bloodthirsty trolls. Rolls. They played it very well. Mumazain coming in on that Badong with that heavy fist crack as well was able to take down a lot of the members from A77. So beautiful game, right? We did see A77 try to hold on to their last little string, but unfortunately Mumazain was able to clean that up with the rest of his team. So Guardian BTK, you do advance. Uh, A77. I, mean, you, I, you, I don't you, even know what to it. say right now. I, mean, I don't either. just gets a triple kill and close the game out. That's all she wrote. And I guess you were right. I guess Boba Zane has the harder hit. Well, I mean, it just, I mean, yeah, I mean it's, it's good so, content for me, man. But my lord. To BTK, but also, shout out to Area 77. It's not exactly. Match Yikes. Double round robin. They will not be progressing on to the playoffs. But, man, did they put on a show. Did. Now let's take a look at the post game. This is what we really want to focus on. 35 to 50, right? We are looking at that high kill game score. The gold was not even that big of a difference, but Joy Lodge 5619, he is on his main role, and you did see a lot of those flicker kicks coming in from that chow. I so uh, we did see 9-7 on this far too late game and what a poop. He did go ahead and do a lot of item changes towards the end. Yato coming in with this Brody 12-8, Zane 10-6, and T 14-8. These KDAs have a lot of deaths because all we saw was just blood Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clippers, 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 Clippers are clipping right now. Clippers are certainly clipping. Game, Clippers are clipping. Very long game, and honestly, probably the highest kill game we've seen. Fifty to thirty-five. I mean, Zena, I know you've seen that. How did you feel about that match? Too. That was fun to watch, and like, th like the pressure was off. So they were. It was fun to see like how they were able to switch roles and actually do real well in them. You know, I had fun watching that. That yeah, was definitely a very explosive match. I mean, if I had to give MVP to anybody. I'm going for Zane. Poses? Oh yeah, for sure. Who would you go for, Eunice? I, I mean, that last fight, they got kind of shoving them into the wall, and I asked you who had the bigger punch. There's your oh. answer. Right there it is. <laughs> Hello, I mean, purple. Purple's wearing pink area. today, man. Put them on the exp lane, but. Uh, let's look at this. This is actually it. pretty insane. Go ahead. Hello. Wait, there's four of them right here. I think you got all four. Did he get all four? Uh, looking at what we've seen, a battle. Yeah, he got all four. The best for BTK swapping. Four man bedangle. Roles and Mobizane shining, thriving. 
and you are gonna see it here. This was the game winner, that triple kill. Zane stacking them up, bodies dropping left and right, but BTK able to win in the situation. But that dang gods. Into that match. And I gotta say, Moba Zane, honestly, but really dang to MSC, but dang to M5, like she. Dominated in both positions. I mean, he went. He ran the carry, he ran the bedang, he led the way still for BTK no matter what role he plays, and honestly, big credits to him. Yeah, and we are seeing another one here, right? Zane already being a menace in that early game, right? Just Disgusting four man all, all yeah, it's pretty was good. Either Pogi or K uh, on the Sicilian because he knows how important it is, but we just see BTK just constantly putting up that early game pressure and it just led to a snowball. Joyvaj doing a lot of flicker kicks right there, showing him that his main is going to be that Chow and really did show how Chow is supposed to be played and doing a lot of recalls. But I feel like this right here, it's coming in for the second time and this has to be the best like uh, play out of all of that, right? Zane kind of shoving them into a wall. He waited for the right moment and he just shoved them yeah, why are they, i like how they're playing it again sure nobody was getting he out shoved the them oh really <laughs> and kqt was hitting some punches though 15 6 kda he was uh kind of two shotting everybody but just wasn't <sighs> yes that wasn't enough but let's look at our current standings right now before we get into the match of the night we still have the empire holding on to that welcome to and win against oh, the, the Ohio brothers just to take the win away from the Empire. What do you guys think? Like if Fallout somehow wins versus TOB, they tie for fourth. Honestly, I feel like TOB. I I I I would hope TOB just throws the game so Fallout ties. Almost a flawless game because that would be like really funny if they have a tiebreaker and it's just like who's gonna go next <laughs> but that not be funny chat easy road for them they had a very hard time up against lamey top who shocked the world in the last two days with their phenomenal performance and that just goes to show all these teams kind of progressing through the double round robin the first double round robin we have ever done in north america nonetheless and i can't wait to see where this match goes but we got to keep in mind one thing has to happen and one thing only fallout needs the sweep against the ohio brothers so that's a sweep is it games included i think it is games included they would have to sweep not only would they have to not lose a game but they would have to sweep they're gonna take on empire but like just like we said ohio brothers really have nothing to lose either they are the ones that have been we take out empire wouldn't be oh no wait if it's a 2-0 they have the same amount of losses right so if, if fallout wins one game they actually win they can't it can't be a tiebreaker because they're either winning once or they're losing twice damn all right never mind i don't care i thought it'd be like a tiebreaker but unfortunately not potentially possibly take out empire out of that fourth place spot secure themselves in the semifinals. Well, we shall see if Fallout has what it takes, but next up we've got the Ohio Brothers versus Fallout. And be sure to stick around because you don't want to miss out if they can take this game to get that fourth spot. But we'll take a quick break. Alright, whatever. Ball time. Lord God is here. Lord God has returned. All hail Lord God. Lord God, the Lord God. Shit. Lord Gaming. If. My imagination. Uh, This is what I call an ultimate. Remove that screen. Shit, you right. My oh, bad. Now we wait. The timer still isn't on the screen anyway. I don't think they're gonna wait that long though for the next game. They might. I doubt it though. 
think someone might be sooner. Quick. Maybe? I don't know. I hope it doesn't take like 30 minutes. And that series lasted a pretty long time. My team is selling? Hello? No tower push for you. This Franco just has no idea what he's doing, it seems. Gord God, Gord God, Gord God. Oh shit. Wait, she cancels my ult like that? I don't know if she did that. to my face and didn't give a damn. Chitowski? Chitowski, that's a weird one. What is this brawl match? Everyone's just like an AI. I'm just never letting them push. my team die horrible slow deaths as I just stand far back and shoot little balls should I just shoot little balls that's all I do Kill myself now. You guys have a good time. I missed when this item gave 10% CDR. It was the only item that gives 10% CDR in the game. Magic resist, that's not okay. Brad's a lot of sustain.
Young Master Pro. Bye bye. Relax, relax. It's free, has no chill. Ima Oka Gord? I, like, what is he saying? We're speaking gibberish. Means I love you, Gord. Is that that ass? Speak Zimbabwe. Shit! Alright, I might be doomed. I just died. My team's folding as well. Might be. I think it's doomed here, you guys. <laughs> Unless Mizutaro is a demon and defends us. If he can defend like three waves. I don't know, man. All right, Mr. Tara, it's your time. It's not. It's no longer Mr. Tara's time. Aren't you fleeting time? I, 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 I would I buy fleeting time? I don't know. Defeat. Gungi ganga gunga. Ima oka. What does that mean? My, my team was actual bots. We got Ben Dover 69 here. And a damage Franco. <laughs> Getting flamed for a brawl match is crazy. Streamers, streamers will get flamed for anything, man. Interesting. I will choose my own path. I get all lot savage.
Whoa. We in. Five seconds till the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash them. I'll burn heaven if the gods get in my way. I need old. We have a fanny. Fuck, I wish I got fanny. Fanny's so fun to play. I need four before I do anything. I want to get a savage though. Can't get a savage if they're all going one by one. Shit. Match started already? Are you serious? Whatever, I'm gonna finish this game first. I won't give in until I fulfill my promise. We finished this quick. I'm playing Arla. Arla's fun. Probably get a five man ult with this shit. Ta. You, like, you gotta be fucking joking. And he's actually just 1v5ing right now. Oh my god, I whiffed. I meant to press cancel. Perfect Let's just go this. Fuck it. I won't be like this. All right, come on. Let me get a savage now. No, I fucked up. I landed the O, but I fucked up everything else. No. No. I like this. Alright, so again, yeah. Oh my god, who picked Vayne? I was kind of expecting it, but he did it. Uh, that's funny. I'm waiting. Shit. 
My dash didn't reset. And I need this. Fanny, go. All right, I only one more chance before we start like losing the respawn timers. We already lost like all our towers. We don't have reliable damage at all. We have two tanks. And Lily E doesn't know what she's doing. Or she just hasn't died. Probably because he hasn't died either in a while. Until I fulfill my promise. Ow. I will not have mercy. Can we like push? The power I have is a blessing. Get lost. I'm gonna try to end this game so I can watch. <laughs> Fanny can somehow stall. GG. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holy shit, wait, we're still in it. <laughs> Doesn't matter, bitch. Holy, what a brawl, what a comeback. Might be the most insane brawl comeback I've ever seen. Oh my lord. Alright, uh, draft. Uh, we got, we got Reshi on Popol. Basics playing Leo Ward. Uh, Huynh's playing Bane. I think it would be really funny if they let Fallout get fourth. I think it would be really funny. Just a, a big old middle finger to Empire. Just throw it versus Fallout. <laughs> versus Fallout. <laughs> Rig the <this> sur- <laughs> It'd be so funny. <laughs> Uh, I would feel bad for Empire. <laughs> I just think it'd be hilarious. Double round robin, the final day as well as we are jumping into game one between Five two the of the top eight teams the in North America, the Ohio Smash Brothers them. and Fallout. Fall is tryharding, and then we have TOB memeing. Ana's gonna run this tank slot, and Weezy, I know you love Ana's tank slot and his pathway through these high games. I don't know, Fall can win because they're tryharding. Good oh, chance. Could be able to. Wait. They're double cutting here. Weezy, this is a chow jungle. That's what I'm saying. You, this is just so hard to read what's going on I... right now. I'm literally ripping my hair out as you are seeing. They're playing you long roll. Uzi, not really able to do much. Look at all the gold that Shark is getting. We are only 45 seconds in, and the gold has been stripped off of the turret on the bottom side. 
What a They're gonna get that tower Hyrule just by ignoring Roshi. Time in terms of objectives. So this is who's the Rome? Because <laughs> we've seen Popa Rome before. So who's the Rome? Is it Shark? I would assume Shark is still running the Rome, but he's just gonna be very aggressive. Or he's just gonna lose Popa his bot tower, bro. Oh my God, there's just. But... Look at the pressure. Look at the dynamic that the Oha brothers provides. Fallout not able to find an answer. EXP. Ibereshi and EXP. And stripping down <laughs> that turret to about half HP. This is not where you want to be a minute and 30 seconds in. I mean, they're the gonna still gold go ahead and push up that bot side. Unless it gets like really fed somehow. And the top side, Basic is gonna go ahead with this Leo They're gonna lose this tower. It's gonna be signed with gold lane instead of Popol. So this is Popol Rome. There, or, no, this is Yuzong Rome. Never mind. So Popol's gonna be signed in the EXP. Maybe not. They're really they're fighting for this tower. tower maybe early on but that that exp turret down there is not looking too hot right now <laughs> yeah definitely fallout not anticipating running up against this composition and the ohio brothers making them punish and you are going to see uh right now the turtle aggro will be pulled in from fallout but here comes the best players and wrap around the that amazing fall is sweating for sure because they want this spot oh the carlos with the ult but grok gets to the turtle melody is going to be able to steal it with the wild charge, huge play for Fallout. He like toe deck. Oh, we're actually using his ult to get the tower. <laughs> First Looking for a play? Nope. First tower is already gone for side of TOP. It's a 400, 500 yeah, gold lead. And honestly worth the trade allowing Fallout. I wouldn't say allowing, but even though they took oh, that tower, didn't really hurt them too much. That's a flicker so out. Midnight doesn't commit to it because he is a Valentino and not a use on a Petrify. Side basic already doing a lot of damage on Guops, but it's gonna show a little bit of dominance towards Guops as he does have a little bit of range, but drop dangerously low. Oh, yeah, basic. Basically a goner. Oh, that's well, Carlos with a kick on Midnight's under tower here. What a kick from Carlos. Honestly, even though it's an even game, it's an unorthodox pick from the Oha brothers, but they have the macro and the micro to be able to pull it off. But Fallout, you know, they're running more of a... Oh, TOB is just like four damage heroes, and they have Popol as the marks. In terms of what works and what doesn't work, they definitely have the odds in their favor, but up against the Oha brothers, they're a team that can definitely make the impossible possible. We do see already a lot of aggression again in that mid side, and this already gives enough time for the Oha brothers to rotate around that mid side, right? Since the bot side is... Oh, pushed. Petri. Oh, but Shark can't ult. Oh, it's canceled. Glopsy, 1 HP. Basic can't really get him. Has to disengage. Glopo does want that cannon. Hoon is here. Uzi here as well, basic 1 HP, you're gonna die to Grok, who doesn't have Flicker, triple sweep, dying to Uzi. Ureshi, just split pushing. Fallout's gonna get a mid tower though, that's pretty pretty big, getting a mid tower. A base turret right there, just high ground turret left the side of fallout on that bot side yeah this may be a fast game the way this is looking because you're already seeing the high ground turret vulnerable for the bottom side but on fallout's favor they were able to claim that mid turret which will open up the map for some invasion into the jungle of the Ohio brothers but speaking of the jungle battle in the turtle pit on the way as you are seeing anna pull the aggro but best player in human in position for the contest but oh uh, anna gets the red tree red tree diff Best player can get out here. Melo, wild charge. And not able to get the stun on the best player. He's just like me for real. <laughs> but the mid side turn is gone, which is going to open a lot of a vision for the side of Fallout. But we do see the top side. Looks like they did a little bit of a lane swap. So Basic is going to have a little bit of an easier time laning against Olafu compared to Guavs when he did have a little bit of that range up against Basic coming in with the fancy same Stampede. Not might not be able to do too much, but looks like only well, like not even a 1k goalie for Fallout because even though they've won the objectives, you know, those two bot towers contribute to a lot of gold. Oh, and again, CC chain can be out. Five people. And he gets out just fine. Interesting. Five people engaging for Anna is quite strange. Still should be focused. Going to clear out the minions, but not able to claim anything from Fallout so far. Five minutes in, but you have to keep your eyes on them. They are very steep. Definitely need to know where they're at at all times. 
Best player saved them? He would have gone out anyway. It's a Lance tank slot, bro. Oh, it hit a rush. You're actually 1 HP. Oh. 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 Oh, Midnight's the dive on the best player and Shark, and they get either of them. No, it doesn't seem like it. Anna is struggling here. He has to get out. Midnight's going to flicker out. Basic Seer on the horse. Can he do anything? That tower is quite low, but it's going to live. Pause the fucking game. Oh, Robsy. Oh, what the snipe. What is going on with the Beatrix snipes today? He is going to go ahead and take down Hoon. Everyone is landing their stun say no matter who is on that Beatrix. Bro, Anna's still AFK. Are they going to pause? He's still AFK. Pause the damn game. Oh, he's back. It's going to lose a little bit of objective as the skill combo compared uh comboed with that Demon Slayer is just not ethical as Anna coming in with the Yeah, definitely need to be careful. Looking at both sides, uh, almost down to their high ground turrets. And now Fallout trying to change the narrative, trying to push back the Ohio brothers with an unorthodox composition, similar to what we've seen with BTK. Pulling honestly, one HP, he has to get out. Basic went like Berserker said, Fury. He's building Crit Leomord. I don't know about that at all whatsoever. Explosive game going up against the Empire and then seeing Ackerman up against BTK. And honestly, Looking at this match, Fallout needs to make a leaving statement. I mean, we saw Lamy Top, we've seen them on their way out, letting the world know, watch out for us in the fall season. Oh. We see the same thing from Fallout, who are now, now possibly making their way into another engagement against the Ohio Brothers, maintaining pressure in the jungle. Absolutely. Now we do see oh, Ohio Brothers has their back up against the wall just a little bit. They are losing a little bit in that macro, but maybe if one of them can land a good pick off, because honestly, they are more of that pick off comp once something gets set, it's a go. But we do see a potential setup on that top side. Oh, Shark taking big damage. Basic ulting. Basic rushing in with the Phantom Steed. Both sides kind of testing the water. Oh, Wait, flicker on the hoo. Who is flicker? I don't know about this one, Melody. With the flicker in. Melody with the mellow dick the move. Matt, uh, the moon with the flicker the out. Basic now looking good. Not a good spot. Oh, he's dead as well. Find basic and take him down. Midnight's in the mid lane. Is activated with that dragon stance. Did use that black dragon. Uh, from Top tower. Teal for a fallout. And right now, fallout's maybe able to claim some more real estate right now. Best player solo right killing Globzo, Gobsy. Oh, Shark there too. Shark gets melted. The nice takes down Shark. Best player is going to be able to get out just in time. One to one trade. One for one trade. Opening up in favor from Fallout. They've claimed five turrets to the two that the Ohio brothers claim. The early game they were very dominant, but once it comes to that late game, they're going to lose a little bit of that insurance when it comes to a team fight. But looks like they are trying to set up for this Lord and already starting to get vision on this top side. We're already seeing this lord spawned in. This is almost a 10 minute game. And Who's holding a, dr a grudge against Steven? <laughs> that's why. Looking at the Ohio brothers right now, they have a couple things they need to do. To that's so, that's actually really good. Right? Get your SG online, get him a couple of kills, let him stack because he is their marksman. Also, find a way to kind of get to Guapsi. He's sitting at a 2 1 and 5 KDA, and not to mention Midnight's who's been coming alive 3 1 and 2 with Valentina. And looks like they're trying to get some trades here, but they are not able to respond to anything. But Lord is still on the Oh, run. basic, but I picked off. Pops. Taking off basic. Gonna find basic now going in. Midnight's it does take the IMU, takes the ultimate away from Shark, which means we are gonna see two black dragons possibly on the way and the Lord Bent and we go can still play with the black dragon from shark hovering over and may drop down on a guops he does find him but uh -oh. the numbers are not in his face yeah, is gonna take him down Killing spree has been one hp at about a quarter of hp 
the response back from the IMU and the Black Dragon Midnight's gonna try Oh, to Carlos gets the red tree, but Hoon dies to Midnight's. Midnight's is gonna find Hoon for the mega kill. And uh, with the path, they're a red tree gap. The tanks a lot. It's gonna do some damage, but your Reshi on the bottom side is gonna go ahead and recall back. Basic with the ult. Midnight's basic flickers out. Basic flickers on him as well. Midnight's is dead. Oh, Wopsy, one HP. Oh, he gets, he gets basic. But best player is gonna respond. What is going Italian on, man? He's gonna go ahead and take a kill and take down Basic and Guapsi both falling. Honestly, this is just such an explosive game. Both teams fighting it out, fighting their hearts out. Final uh, series for Fallout, and honestly, I just I gotta give them credit, right? You have seen Anna, the MVP on the tanks a lot, and they pull it out for the final series of the day. Definitely uh, shouting their team out and showing them that they are ready to take it to the next level. But wait a minute, fight in the mid lane. Possibly on the way, best player is gonna give some vision. This is just they need to really rely like the on the Beatrix right? damage later objectives. in the game. For blood, and you are gonna see the battle over on the purple blood, the way the dragon connects. Oh, wow, we're going on a rush. You're actually having to flick her out. Uzi doesn't choose to flick her after him, though. And a little low getting out there. Hello, D. Nothing happening. Lord, did do a bit of chunk. Oh, Bopsy, not a good spot. It's a flicker out, but Shark's here as well. Petrify. Petrify. Uh, Bopsy going down there is not too good for Fallout. Oh, Reshi trying to die for the tower, but that was in the process, interestingly. Oh, Mass goes off, but his best player fucks up the ult. He's gonna die in the process. Melody, unless Melody just whips his ult completely. Who would get dived on by Midnight's? He's gonna possibly dodge Midnight's able to get out, but... Oh, who's he got A little bit of a different change of pace. It's gonna be able to find him after that IMU and right now a lot of bodies dropping left and right from oh side. shark with black the ult How many black going on midnight but i'm not sure it's gonna matter oh midnight dies kill though shark kills him it, but shark is gonna take down midnight so i guess he was able to get one on his way out and honestly between both oh, of those teams, lucky fast. minutes in very high kill game but <gasps> Guys, this is a solo cast by Steph Wheezy. <laughs> I don't know how long you've just been casting that for, but that was a very long fight back and forth, starting from that Lord Pit all the way to the base of Fallout and now back to the mid side. And now the tide has calmed down just a little bit, but we are looking at the score right now, 716. This is gonna be another high kill game score. The gold is neck to neck right now. Although, uh, the Hunter Brothers is gonna go ahead and be in the uh, ahead of that macro as the neutral objective Lord has now came up. This is a 13 minute Lord, so the Luminous Lord has now been up and looks like the best player is gonna go ahead and try to get some vision off. Yeah, you are gonna see Fallout in a good position though. Does have the aggro with a battle on the top side. Basic, basic top side at 1v2 or Uzi and, and basic backs out as the flicker out. out. But still a fight on the Lord is Fallout. Give me some damage to best player. He has to reset. Oh, Wopsy. Misses an auto on Hula because he's in the bush. Anna going after him. Best player forcing a kick. Hood's dead. Three v one. Midnight is gonna pick up the kill. This may be able to be the advantage Fallout needs to be able to take this Lord. But Yuresh is already <laughs> trying to dominate that top side. He is just gonna go ahead and sit there, use his uh traps as a little bit of vision, plant his way around the map just so that no one can go ahead and cut him off there. But looks like uh Uzi already has a read on what's going on, as he's gonna go ahead and cut that wave off and choke Yuresh from going ahead and push up that turret. Yeah, definitely need to be careful. We've seen so many back doors, it's not even funny. And honestly, that may be the plan for Yureshi this time around if they're not careful. Best player in the mid lane, though. Take it is 18 to 8, team. but it's the gold is dead near even. Still, neither side has gone in for this. Yureshi is just in the weirdest yeah, spot ever, man. Perfect opportunity, right? This fight can go both ways, and Shark coming in on his room. On this Yuzong, there is still a lot of zonage, so this all really depends on who can Yureshi is just perma splitting. Does not care. Before 
things go down south very Face fast. it going top, maybe to assist. It definitely go south very fast. 16 minutes is slowly closing in, which means we are in the late game. You already see that holy crystal picked up by Hoon as well. Basic trying to 1v1 rush here. Not really sitting very and Reshi's dead. Taking a little too long there. They might look for the back door. They're pushing. He pushing. Back to the bases. They are focusing on this lord, but you are gonna go ahead and see midnight in the mid lane to be able to stop your rest Oh, and my Carlos gets the red tree and Guapsi dies in the process. Is there a backdoor going on here? Into the favor of the Yoha brothers with Melody with the concealed play for the chase. At least that momentum from basic, a little bit of that slow to stop Melly, uh, Melo from rushing in. And honestly, I don't know if they're gonna be able to. I don't know. What am I watching, bro? Having that range damage still has 25 seconds left to respond oh, in. And you are damage. seeing them down to their base crystal right now. Now Bane's in the late game. He has he has the damage. Bane has the damage now. It's late game. We might see a big clash here. Melo just isn't ulting for whatever reason. Black Dragon hovering over over there. Possibly gonna get a pick off as well. You are gonna see the Lord make his way into the base though. Fall out backs against the wall, trying to stop the Ohio brothers. What's gonna happen here? Blobsy taking some big damage. Oh, Anna dying at basic. Who's he with the flicker ult? Onto Reshi. Reshi 1 HP, can he get out? Seems like he does. Oh, Lopsy was a very interesting flicker. But Hoon regenerating quite a bit of health here. Oh, it just gets popped. I don't know what I'm watching, man. Just in time with the retribution. Still anybody's game. 17 minutes in. Respawn timers are slowly getting higher and higher. Yeah, but they are winning in Same reaction to Bane skin? No. What the f okay, shark with the black dragon. Not really gonna be able to find anything though, but both sides being very over aggressive. Why well, I told the series not matter? Yeah, the series well the series doesn't matter for TOB, but it matters for Fallout. If Fallout wins this, they make top four. If they lose, they're not top four. That's how it is for Fallout. This can be anybody's steal right now as the did you see Zane reaction to this? TOB is first no matter what. Man, I gotta say, how many black dragons are we gonna see within the next Empire already qualify for playoffs? No, if Fallout wins this, they get play they, they get top they get fourth, no? They'll have if they if Fallout two owes this even if they two one they will have more bet they'll have more than Empire. Black dragons or two Yuzongs, two Banes. We, we saw they two will be able Banes to knock out Empire if they win this. Side, basic, Empire has more sets out, than Fallout. So they'll have, have a higher score, no? See who's Black Dragon is who's for sure when it comes to these team fights. But Fallout, they wanted to secure this win. They're gonna have to take somebody off the board, but they are running. Shit. This win, they're gonna have to take somebody off the board, but they are running more of that heavy comp, right? Shark coming in, Zong Hoon coming in more of that easy uh, mid laner and uh, basic coming. Guys, right here. Like See, if Fallout two O's, they get two more wins. Or if they even hit two one, they'll be fourteen. If they two one, it might be even. But if they two O, it's they're a fourth. The other one can go ahead and tank, but we do see Lord getting first by the high levels. That's right, a little bit of a dance in the Lord Fit Fallout making their way to the party. They do have the numbers, and it looks like they are going to kind of wait and see. Paul has to win in regardless, to pretty sure. They're not going to overstay their welcome, though. Best player is going to dive in, risk it all. Petri on the Anna is not going to do much damage, though. He dash out in time. Bobsy, not a good spot. Oh, Bobsy actually, 1 HP. Can he get out? Flicker from a Hoon. Midnight's killing Carlos though. Glopsy is dead as well. Uzi did fuck up his thing though. Oh, Midnight's takes out Basic and Shark. Oh, but the base. There's the a big minion wave. Way into the base, but Uzi there for the denial, but there is a lot of minions to go up against. He's gonna have to use all of his utility to stop it, but they are gonna be live. Uh, they are gonna be able to tell another tale. They are gonna be able to fight another fight. This is a 20-minute game. 
uh, kind of a similar pattern we've been seeing today between these teams, kind of just showing the world, hey, we're out here to have fun today. We're out here to party and switch things up. And this is exactly what we're seeing so far from the Ohio brothers and Fallout. What is this game, man? Globsy's such a thrower, though. This game could be so easy for Fallout if Globsy just melted the front line. Gave enough vision. I'm gonna go ahead and reset. Potentially paid actors. Jay or Mike sucked for the interview. You're so quiet. I can barely hear you. Uzi has three damage items. Antique and Athena shield. No dominance, which is interesting. And the question is, who will be able to take this objective? High value target. Twenty-one minutes in. You are seeing best player and metal. You are seeing a request for. Oh my God! They're pausing this game. Intermission at its finest, but give us a little bit of time to kind of talk about what we've been seeing so far, right? The Ohio brothers up against Fallout's man. A very hard game to read, honestly. I'm trying to sit, look at what's going on, but then everybody swapped their role, so it's like it's a caster nightmare right now. But honestly, uh, I just like to see a different dynamic, a change of pace, and Fallout. Even though they're going a little bit of uh, their normal kind of strategy, they're having a little bit of a harder time against the Ohio Brothers, who's completely unorthodox right now. And speaking about a brief intermission, even faster than a brief intermission, as we are now back in the game, Lord and Tack, the best player for the aggro. Oh, they pick off Shark. Minute long respawn timer. Not really good for the late game. At that Lord as best player is still trying to zone Best player holding on to it though. Oh, are they gonna look for a game ending play? But they are going in to possibly deny the Ohio Brothers push. They're gonna get the high ground. Basic has to reset. Fallout from claiming that high ground turret for the top side, but looking at the bottom side, you are going to see basic. And uh, basic are just duking it out in a 1v1. Maintain these minions, not allowing them into their base. Lord at about half HP. And the question is, who will be able to claim this objective? Look at midnight though, coming into the back side. Oh, Midnight gets kicked into a Leomord's face. He's dead. Doesn't have kick for the Lord now, so what are they going to do? Gopsy. Mello has ult. Mello just ult Hoon. What is he doing? Oh, Gopsy doing big damage to Hoon. Hoon flickers out and lives. Melody with the mask. I guess he's saving it for Carlos. I don't know. Gopsy. Mello and immortality. Who gets the red tree? Carlos gets the red tree. What are you doing? Reggie's trying, trying to backdoor mid. Reggie, though, <laughs> it's GG anyway. What the fuck is this game? Oh my god. Oh, Melody is such a dog shit tank, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? GG. I don't know what the fuck this game was, man. Melody sucks so much, bro. What the fuck is Melody doing? With BTK against A77, such an unorthodox draft and putting very <laughs> situational heroes. I mean, we haven't seen a Bane mid yet, and we haven't seen a Leomord in the gold lane. We haven't even seen Popol in the EXP lane with Shark running a tank Yuzong. Uh, so, but we did see the push coming in from Yureshi. Like, he was never at the Lord. He was never there. All he was doing. Oh, dick. <laughs> Over and over and over because they had basic to also do the damage alongside with food. I feel like these teams are just not trying to give me any room to breathe. I mean, they're just no. literally just fighting it out for 20 minutes straight, man. I'm telling you. You were casting oh, at one point for a straight like two minutes. And I'm just, I'm chilling. You could take the floor, take it all you want. I'm, oh, I'm giving man. myself a breather, man. <laughs> you right. The I, they're just fighting it out and. Honestly, like we said, I think it's just, it's just, they realize do, do, they don't really do. have to worry about too much. Regardless if they win or lose, they still make their way to the playoffs and they just want to show North America, hey, we can switch things up just like BTK uh, and take a victory alongside that. And now jumping into the stats of this amazing game between Fallout and TOG. So a 23 minute game, we are kind of looking at a kill almost per minute, but 
we're gonna go ahead and see the kda coming from best player 4111 very good kda coming in from a jungler shark coming at 2710 not the prettiest kda from a roamer but this is a very unique draft coming in this one to be used on roam but you're actually gonna go ahead come in with a very small kda right 333 but he was able to push up a lot of turrets but on the side of fallout Midnight was able to do the most amount of kills and damage onto the backside, as you saw. Um, Basic and Hoon Gang dropped dangerously low for a lot of fights as soon as Midnight was online and their guaps coming in was able to do a lot of damage, but towards that late game was not able to. And Melody coming in with that Grok Roam was able to give some good sets, but Wheezy, since you had the star today, why don't you talk about these replays? Hey, you are seeing basic five midnights. Honestly, this was such a crazy game that so much was going on. So many skirmishes, fights for every little objective, and Fallout finding their way into a little bit of their demise, falling a little oh, short when it comes to the next skirmishes. series. Is, you know, Higher Brothers is able to claim a lot. You are able to see uh, right now Fallout looking like they had the upper hand, but then there goes Shark wrapping around with the Black Dragon. Melody using the concealed play to get away, but basic trying to rush in for the kill. Hoon able to take down Guapsy. Look at this Lord. You are going to see Ureshi able to pick up a turret. Best player claims this uh, Lord as well. And basic takes down Anna. When's the next game going to start, time. man? Fallout secure fourth place. No Empire is fourth place. Straight into game two between Fallout and the Ohio Brothers. And man. I don't even know where to start. I don't even Game know which two. way to look at this draft because between BTK, between the Ohio brothers, they're trying to bamboozle us, I swear, and you never know which way it's going to go. Oh, now it's on my side, though, so it looks right, like finally. I'm going to your No, <laughs> no, it needs to go back on your side, but it looks like I'm going to take the hit this time and have the very unique draft up on uh. my own, but... Uh, we did see some very interesting plays come out from that last game. Some of them were very questionable plays, but the lineup was just questionable itself. We have we've seen new heroes come out today, uh, something we haven't really seen at all. So it looks like this is your kind of your special, uh, unique draft running teams as they have nothing else to lose, mind you. Even if Tob loses any of these matches, they are still secured in the semifinals no matter what. So you are seeing some fun games uh some very interesting pulls as well so wheezy is there like something you maybe want to see um well i've seen dog shit yeah his anything, positioning was really honestly, shit too anything going i mean in your head or? i i would have said yes but i think we've pretty much seen everything that you could have ever seen in mobile legends between btk and tob today with their unorthodox compositions <laughs> but looking at this match there is one big statement that we kind of have to address right this may potentially be Fallout's last game. If they don't take this to a game three, if they don't claim a win in this series, then this is going to be their final match as they were not able to make it into the playoffs, falling short over to the Empire with one series behind. So definitely go out with a banger. Definitely go out with your best picks and show the world that, hey, we'll be ready for the fall season. Yeah, Fallout has been doing good. Um, there has been some losses, obviously. Not the best set that they could have potentially taken to maybe uh, take their secure in the semifinals. But we are seeing them play at their potential. Pack. Game We're did playing pack tank out. jungle like Zane does, maybe. Uh, very close. So they were able to hold on just a little bit longer for those viewers out there who are supporting fallout as well they are trying their best they are doing whatever it takes to kind of like ground. would appreciate if you guys like the stream subscribe as well all that good stuff the, uh 4, subs away from 100k if you help me get there that also be appreciated they picked alice okay got a mentitar all outside with carry Everything that's interesting right now is what they are most comfortable running we did see that in the early stage as well and towards the mid of um anything but actually go to well. sleep but so i will hire brother holy shit. i kind of feel a sense of the empire draft happening in a way i already see alice getting locked too. in shark going with the keto too so i feel a little bit of a one three one kind of thing going on here and honestly in that last game even though Yurashi didn't run the Marksman, they were literally running a 1-3-1 because they slotted the Marksman in the EXP lane, shoved waves, that's all they were doing. Yurashi was just never part of big team fights, so it's kind of like that 1-3-1, all he was doing is pushing, he's like, <sighs> we're, gonna, we're gonna just do this. 
best player already picking up the Izumi Shin. So this is actually Alex picked up Izumi Shin at one point, I think, in one of the yep, he did. NACT. So looks like, yeah, I just feel a lot of Empire vibes on this side. Why is so this side, they are going Fallout. They're going to go more their comfort What route. the fuck? I'm going to have to respect Fallout. They want their stand. They're going to show what they are. And we're going to see it. Yeah, you are seeing Guapsi pull out this uh, carry as well. Maybe a slight advantage, especially when you're going to What the base. hell? This rank? And very sustainable. Basically, how many teeth? I removed four. Can't wait to see which way this goes. Four wisdom teeth. Midnights, right? uh, not really too many ultimates you can profit on in this situation. I mean, you can use the Mountain Shocker, I guess, from the best player on vision. the Yusen Shin. Yep, exactly. The vision on the map to be able to know exactly where the Ohio brothers are. But outside of that, I'm not really seeing anything that's that profitable. But this best player on the Yusen Shin, honestly, this is something I've never seen before. So I've never seen best player on the Yusen Shin. So I'm definitely excited uh, for that. But looking at Uzi, right, he is going to run the Smith Sathar, one of those heroes that kind of been shining since I got back from my little short break. And honestly, this Short. is a strong hero. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it was definitely a little bit of a you missed extended a whole vacay if you patch must. Note. You missed a whole patch note. Exactly. It ain't short, And now Mr. Thar is one of the kings in the XP lane. And uh, speaking of the XP lane, you know, looking at uh, a couple of fighters on the way. We're looking at Basic possibly running this Alice in the gold lane. So we'll see how it goes up against Guapsi. But looking at the band so far, Badang locked out alongside the Liam Mort. And... I'm wondering if that Liam Moore was a respect ban for Basic after his performance in the last match. I mean, Mr. Tar, you say is the king of the EXP lane. His alt name is literally called King's Calling. So, there is your king of EXP lane. King's Calling is going to go ahead and dominate, hopefully, in the EXP lane. Because I don't even know what they're going to pick at this point. So, we're just going to hope you that... Anesthesia? Yeah, I got Anesthesia. But him. that only lasts, you know... But the duration of the procedure not afterwards I don't see any heroes or it's not like a post procedure and I am waiting you know that wait a minute but you're going into a missathar so you're rushing into a king's calling so that might not be the wise Raphaela midnight has the balance uh, oh, so that's two high heroes lows. I can deny high lows <laughs> yo what is going on right now I guess the glorious <laughs> pathway a little bit of that mobility a little bit of a fat fancy uh, push on their way out for the side of Fallout. Comboed over there uh, with this Raffaella for the sustainability. And I, like I said, it's very hard to read these drafts today. And honestly, I, I think it's just because it's at the very end of the double round it's Robin. And right now, this is just a little bit of that showcasing Who of talent. doesn't want to have fun, right? Valir. Now, okay. Valir, I, we, we got to say something. Earlier in the first uh, NACT, What am I doing in my life watching this man? A few rounds. Who was it that ran? Was it was it uh Toinks? Who ran Valir Twinks, Rome yeah. with Nicolette on Mage? Yeah, so that actually worked out for a couple of matches, but it started, you know, spiraling downhill. But we did see uh Valir already out, so I we've seen it played, not much, but Raphael and Hylos and Nat haven't seen yet. So this is, uh, we've, we've seen everything else. To the last game. We've seen everything else. Now, I feel like this is more of a cheese cheese draft, like a, like a cheese pick, right? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and see. But just like you said, Nat into a Hylos and a Minzatar, and Raphaela can definitely spot out uh, Nat with her first skill. But we are looking at a potential final the game for Fallout, or is this going to be? another match that fallout just does not want to take home yet as we are looking at that second game and wheezy uh, what, are you, what are you feeling right now this draft coming from both sides is just <laughs> i think my emotions are the same as the draft all over the place and we got to see how this kind of plays Dark out on both sides i mean you have mellow with the holy baptism the interesting holy to be able to keep the team alive you have something that we haven't seen in a while. The Hylos in the jungle. But then, also, you have Yureshi running this Natalia alongside uh, Boone on this uh, Valir as well. So, I think this is going to be a match that boils down to the micro. Uh, as you are seeing a heavy presence from the Ohio Brothers on the bottom lane. Guapsi trying what is Guapsi doing? Why is he so far up? Blood for the Ohio Brothers. Why the fuck is Guapsi so far up there? 
also our last that is so troll regular season for nact so there's a lot of uh, as you say emotions on the line right now as we are seeing a potential setup for that boss fight that's right yureshi trying to rush in trying to take down midnight and honestly the Ohio Brothers, they're a team that doesn't miss any objectives. They don't even blink when they play this game. I'm thoroughly convinced of that. And Fallout needs to kind of be on their toes. And uh, they went a little unorthodox as well for their possible final game as they were not able to kind of climb up to the top four, falling short to the Empire. But they can go falling short. The flicker in from Boon, the Searing Turret, onto Melo, not able to seal the deal. But look at Guaps. Look at Basic. Look at the flicker. But Reggie in the back door is going to find Melo. Guapsi is going to find Basic, but Basic is going to take down Guapsi to respond. 3 to 1. Oh, hi, brothers. Melo died to Reshi, Natalia. That bot side, but we already see this time. And just like we said, Ana is a very highly objective focused um, jungler, but here we go. Oh, I guess the retry might die in the process though. Flickers out. Uzi misses the pull. Trying to get Shark here. Can he get him? Nope. Nope. May be able to change the narrative. No, Uzi is not going to go in for the kill. He's going to go ahead and go in for the minions instead. He did say no, no. Did I even watch this chat. Find that kill from game <laughs> oh my up. lord. The casters us, but we do see a lot. And Minion actually went in for the Pakito ult. Uh, and just like you said, there isn't really much you could take. So it is really anything that you pick up. You're just going to have to try to use it to the best of your ability. Kuna already being a menace in that mid lane. A lot of clear. And with the... Uh, it's not recent, but with the patch that came out with Valir, the first skill, if you're able to last hit minions, you actually get your cooldown back on your first skill, so, uh, that is a lot of clearage coming in. RG better. <laughs> yeah, definitely have to keep your eyes on Hoon, Mr. MVP, and honestly, looking at this game, three minutes in, five, uh, four kill lead, you gotta be careful, Fallout may find themselves in a snowball, but I gotta... Give credit to Anna. And when I look at the Hylos, and now when thinking about it in theory, it makes sense, right? They have the Natalia, and when you have this Hylos, it gives her a harder time with the hunt to be able to stay invisible. And now Basic trying to sustain himself with the flowing blood for his pathway, trying to box him out. He is going to emo, possibly make his way back to the base. And it's like Fallout is not going to be able to take him down as who is able to block their pathway. But BTK at least swap rolls. The troll is fun. I mean, Reggie's playing Rome and Shark's playing Tank. No, he's very I, it was more fun, I guess, because A77 was like playing, I don't know, watching Fallout play, it's like Globsy and Melo are just like, I don't know, they're, they're so hard to watch play. Whoa! He didn't even get the assist! Man, what is going on right now? You are going to go ahead and see the battle inside of the jungle as well. Looking at the burst fireballs over there by Hoon, trying to keep... Fallout at bay from being able to stay. And is the only the human in the team? Yeah, kinda. Looks for Gloves, but Lowe goes the opposite direction, but looks like he's gonna come in from that backside and try to take Gloves off the board. And, and I got turtle, turtle again. He's gonna find Melo to respond, and now Gloves into one situation. Maybe able to take down Basic, but they are gonna be able to slay each other. And that is gonna be a member down for both sides. Actually, two members down for Fallout. But Fallout was able to claim that turtle to give him that slight advantage. But Wait, can Uzi kill him? King's calling drop down on Holy Shark. shit, he doesn't have damage to kill him. God damn. Uzi is gonna secure the kill. Just like you harped on earlier during the draft, king of the EXP lane, the King's Collins, and go ahead and take off uh Shark off the board, but he might just get collapsed. Look Melo. <laughs> trying to do some damage onto that turret on the bottom side. Not something you typically see uh, from your mage, but that just shows you he definitely has the macro checked off. Best player is going to find Uzi off screen. And is going to go ahead and pick up that kill, secure it into their hands, but we do see the rotation coming in from Fallout to go ahead and take control of the spots of a shark already here to deny them from pushing up the the premier trade as the turret falls on the top side, but possibly the same on the bottom. Shark needs to get out of there, but Anna with the denial is going to take him down. Guapsi is going to go ahead and play that turret, but now a battle in the mid river possibly on the way. Best player winding up for a possible kill is going to dash in to Midnight to force it out. Reshi looking for Midnight. 
gets now, him. Trying to make a kill from Ureshi, who does find Midnight's over there with the hunt provided by this Natalia. He is one of those sneaky players, right? He's able to kind of roam around the map freely. Uh, doesn't really matter, right? He already has that vision. You don't have right to walk into a bush as you do have that indicator that somebody is there. So he's going to go around giving that vision. Not only is he giving a vision, the Mountain Shocker coming in from best player, though, uh, Isu Shin is also going to give a lot of vision up on the map. But Ana getting dropped low by Hoon, that, that burn is something else, Weezy. Ooh, they might as well stream their games. <laughs> might as well stream your games, who is insane. <laughs> Honestly, they should have. As for they probably would have permission too. To stream it. Oh, he missed. Using the King's Calling is going to slow down the Ohio Brothers, but not stop them. His best player is going to take him down. Rishi Unstoppable finds Melody for a double kill, but Melo is going to take him down to respond, but not before he takes down Uzi. And Guapi fell as well, so that is three members. Can I just, like, click this off and then stream? It's pretty, pretty bad. A lot of macro trades coming in from the side. I'm not going to cap. Looks like they are respecting each other at this point. They know what is at stake. They are kind of pulling out their cheese picks. But we do see that the Bully is definitely in Sun Empire Brothers. Mountain Shocker giving a lot of vision again. Coming in from best player on the season. Shin is looking for potential. Do it. Holy <laughs> shit. Surprised you're so against you're so with it. I have an actual headache right now watching this. In that mid lane, but now Moving toward the bottom, Shark trying to take down Guapsi is going to try and get out, but Melo and Guapsi are going to go ahead and take him out. You are going to see your Reshi pull back, is going to use that hunt, does have that survivability rate, especially on this Natalia, to be able to stay alive and stay invisible as well. As you are going to see Winter Truncheon picked up by Basic, possible game plan on the way with that lifestyle. Play rate game? I'm not, I'm not playing any rate game. I'm either ending after this or I'm ending right now. Hoon, it's caught out no, here, guys. Anna is gonna take down Hoon, and it looks like the Ohio Brothers was not able to stop him from falling in that skirmish. He was not, he did end up being put behind the casters, but we do see another objective picking up, but Yureshi. Guapsi dead. Sebastian finds Guapsi, finds a back line, but it's punished quickly by Midnight. Yeah, we do see Yureshi coming at 7-2, so it's able to continue to take uh, Melo and Guapsi off the board. 3-5 and 1-4, that is not a very pretty KDA, but into Yureshi's hands, the hunt is definitely going in. And they're definitely going to have to keep Guapsi alive, right? Guapsi is their main source of damage for Fallout, but when Yureshi's running this Natalia, if you're not protecting him, it's going to be an easy day for the Ohio Brothers. As that is Yureshi's main goal, is to find Guapsi at all costs. Yeah, not letting him scale is a big issue, but they are starting to give up some buffs to Guap as he is a little bit low on the farm. But you're actually already picking up another core item, but now spotted on Melo. But looks like Lord is going to be uncontested inside of the house. But he tops him. Yeah, you are seeing Shark on the push. Basic is going to use that flowing blood for sustainability. He does have the winner trunch in. May be able to pull it out right now. Is he going to use it? Yeah, oh, it's so it. low. Best player is going to claim the Lord, though. The advantage with the Ohio Brothers maintaining pressure and making Fallout focus on their members and not focus on that Lord. And that is a huge play for TOB. A great advantage to be able to claim some more real estate on the map. Do you see already a lot of pressure? In the mid side, taking away all the economy on the side of Fallout as TOB is not looking to let anything go. But Uzi is dropped low, but is it really? Yeah, you should definitely go home as the Lord is definitely pushing up that top side. Mid side is also going to get taken down by best player with that macro. But Midnight doing a little bit of trip damage, trying to get them low. But this is going to be possibly or maybe the final clash coming in as Lord is coming down this top side. You know, one thing I gotta say though, when you run the Natalia, oh, Wapsi is gonna find Shark though. You are gonna see Shark is one and five. Down this Lord. Looks like TOB not gonna try and push in and claim some of these high ground turrets, but best player does rush in last minute, not really able to find anything. But you know, back to what we were saying, once it's only high ground turret, this is where your rest is gonna have a little bit of trouble because he's not gonna have the huge impact anymore. Uh, but Wapsi is gonna find basic. I don't even know what to say to that engage. Right? I don't even know period, what to say. Gonna scale and be able to burst down basic with little to no issue. Oh my god, my eyes hurt. That may be how Fallout gets I've been up too late today, man. No. Alright, I've been awake for too long. A lot of pressure, though. Coming in some of the higher brothers, they still have all 
the turrets in their favor. They have the macro in their favor. They have the gold as well. And kills are also into their favor. And Yurashi is still giving around vision. Mountain Shocker coming out from Izumi Shin. He's going to go ahead and give vision by Yurashi. I, I think I'm just going to say fuck this shot in the air. I don't Man, care to watch Jason the rest of this game. Over there on this Natalia, but now look at the path thing. Just dodging just all spam the ads. <laughs> Wasting a lot of time for Fallout. But finally, they were able to take him down. 832 coming in. All he is doing is making globs low on the board, but Ana can get melted down. But Uzi coming in with the trade. You think they can close this out anytime soon, Uzi? They may be able to because they wasted a lot of utility over there onto Yureshi. That was his game. I'm on Brave, I won't get ads. Down goes Uzi. Looking at basic, Yureshi with the flowing blood is going to rush into the full team, but Midnight is going to shut him down quickly. Best player finds Midnight for the double kill. You are going to see uh, the high ground turret in the base. I'm on baby oh, raging. I was baby raging, bro. I'd be so loud. I'm just impressed. There's nobody to protect him. He's just there for the thrill of it and honestly just letting them know I'm not really afraid. I'm very comfortable. I know I've got uh, Yureshi behind me. Dude, just me. surrender. Really Actually, just surrender. What, what, what's the worst little, that can happen? Uh, uneasy pushing into the jungle, especially with that Natalia creeping around. Yeah, but not only is Glops going to scale this carry, best player running in with this Easter Chin is also going to sca uh, scale as well, sitting at 405. So definitely going to go ahead and see a lot of damage coming out from both sides. But the Lord. Definitely going to go into high, uh, the Ohio Brothers' hands as they can't really step out too much, right? Or else they're definitely going to get picked off by Yureshi and Guaps. What? Did he lose vision? In time, but or is still in play, and you are seeing zonage in favor for the Ohio Brothers. Fallout's trying to find a game plan. It looks like they are going to often wrap it around and trying to deny this um, jungle. But it looks like they're not going to be able to push into this floor. The best player realizing this is going to go ahead and pull the aggro and start some chip damage. But look on the bottom side. Look at the split push from Shark. Is going to go ahead and clear those minions. He's going to force Wop into the bottom side and allow best player to pick up this floor for the Ohio Brothers. And basic already putting a lot of pressure again in the mid side using the blood o to clear if out they don't end in this lord here i'm ending if they don't end with this lord i'm ending please just end with this lord that winter treasure we talked about as you've seen basic hit with the spirit glory but he's able to sustain himself using the blood load on his way out as well talk about immaculate timing and honestly uh fallout their backs are against the wall. Luminous Lord down the bottom side. And the question is, can they hold off the pressure from T.O.B.? Yeah, please like the stream. Give me a reason to keep going. At least do that. At least like the stream. Yeah, like you said, the last fight. Fallout's final stand in the double round Robin before we make our way into the playoffs for next weekend. And right now, Fallout, let the world know, hey, we had a fun run. And what better way to close it out than against the number one seeding, the Ohio Brothers. And you are seeing them put up a fight. Some great defense. Able to burst down this Lord. But Shark to respond. It's going to find Guap. a huge play. Finding the back line for Fallout. Mello is going to pick up a kill. Anna is going to take down Shark. Best player unstoppable. Takes down Uzi. Two members down for T.O.B. Hoon is going to find a kill and take Take out uh, Anna on this Hylos as well, which means you only have Mellow and Midnight to defend. But I right, didn't end up going now. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. I'll probably stream in the morning. Maybe. Depending how I feel. I feel kind of shit right now. I'm not sure I'll do face cam tomorrow. I feel so shit after doing it. I feel like so tired. Yeah. Bye bye. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Like the stream, subscribe, all that good stuff. Okay, the end of the stream. Thank fucking Ooh, lord, thank fucking well lord, thank fucking lord. Okay, Crystal finally, the pain and suffering is over. Uh, alright, thank you all for watching. Wow. All good stuff. Thanks, bye. What, what the fuck? Bye. Have seen today, and the winner of this series is definitely gonna go to TOB as they are able to sweep.